so I heard um, Jake's uh, Jake's after that coochie bashy at the moment. Listen, we're live now, Neil. Okay, we'll talk about this later. <laughs> 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 no, I was like boarding and I like jumped in and then I was like, yeah, I, I got on the plane, so. It, it does make me mildly uncomfortable. Apparently I'm muted. That does make me mildly uncomfortable. No. Yeah, just you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you told him, Viking. Like, chat clearly loved it. They were like, oh my God, I can hear the cast, but not Scott. <laughs> Take my really bets. Take cast, my bets. Cast. Oh, there we are. Oh, that means they didn't hear the give him, g g give him a musk or give a boomer a coffee. Oh, they didn't hear that bit. Oh, well. Okay. They just awkwardly saw us fade into screen from silence. <laughs> stare at each other. Stare at each other. <laughs> There is no context to that at all. <laughs> oh my god. Great. That's nice. funny. That's, that's um, actually better. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like I said, there was I, I did a Windows update. Um uh I actually didn't even come down here at all yes yesterday. I, I did it all for my laptop and um it was a Windows update, so caused some issues. Oops. Why would you ever do a, a update before a stream? You you do it uh, after a stream always. I, I did actually. I did it when I when my stream ended on Monday night after that chaos because my internet died and then I was on phone with Verizon oh, for forever God. and then my computer went live again while I wasn't down here. But luckily Joey pinged me a bunch of times to get me to come down and and that whole thing. So after that happened on Monday, um, I just pressed off uh, fuck it, update and restart, and then I I walked away and then I haven't been back downstairs since Monday night. So yeah. Anyways, streaming and Windows updates do not get along ever. <laughs> no, no, it, they, they, they are. But then again, pretty much anything in streaming doesn't get along. Um, That's true. You know, which is, is fine. Whatever. It is what it is. So, um, all right, cool. Well, anyways, hi, everybody. Well, welcome. Welcome, Ooh. Jake. You, you, you're, you're coming to us not from a one continent, but an entirely different one. That's exciting. Yep. Yeah. It's uh, interesting to see stream at like six instead of like nine or, you know, yeah. 11. Yeah. Oh, I hear you. <laughs> on, on Saturday evenings now with one of the campaigns, um, we've been sh uh, going live at a time slot that's great for me and the New Zealanders, but like terrible for Norway and Anno. Is it 7 p.m. my time? Which is like, <laughs> like we're done by midnight. I mean, in theory, we could be done before midnight. It's crazy. It's nuts. So, oh. anyways. Okay. Well, I, um, we all know who's getting this hype train. You know what I mean? We all know. We all know. They're like, we want the big stick to slide in and never slide back out again. Um, wait. wait. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> Are you still talking about the game? Or? Uh, <laughs> we're live, you know. We're live on Twitch.tv. Like, can you just um, say that? <laughs> I swear, I did not realize that I was. Like, I, yeah, I, I meant sure. uh, I meant the lance. I meant the lance. I meant the lance. I meant. I meant. Oh boy. Um, the wood, yeah. Didn't seem to come through. Oh, really? Weird. Uh, I'll I'll post it in. Uh, let me know if it ends up doubling up later on. Okay, so let me do that for Steve. You guys say hi. Uh, who wants Neil? You want to give us a thirty-second recap? Uh, I mean, it, we all we all know exactly where we are in the warehouse or whatever. But go ahead. <clears throat> okay, so uh, we we got back to uh, this place, Malisle Harbor, Malisal, Malisal Harbor. Um, yeah, I don't know. Weird names, Americans and names, bro. Um, Anyway, we got back um, and we were like, well, our plans have been royally fucked by this other group um, of quote unquote Scott royal fuckers, um, <laughs> which is kind of a double entendre, actually, because it's um, and um, we we talked about what our plans could be. Um, that's so and fuck it. <laughs> and, and we thought, you know, you know what? I, I'm just really fucked of this entire place, this entire situation. Why don't we just go to like 
this place where we know he has a bunch of people and and just get Alexa to play Doom. <laughs> um, and we did. And so we, we came in and uh, they, they attacked us after we attacked them. However, we did ask them to surrender unconvincingly a couple of times. Uh, and then and then they they did in fact carry on resisting so we murdered the majority of them uh, and the rest have sur- surrendered uh, and the rest have surrendered at this point um and, and to be clear these are all vampire lackeys in some capacity or whether they are lackeys admittedly for Dreyfus they know they're working for Dreyfus but they don't necessarily know he's a vampire I presume they do by now liking a but, lot less than half a but they're, lot less <laughs> they're um I mean, I mean, I you, you say that, but um, it, it all I guess depends. Some are bleeding out. Yeah, yeah. It, you could save them. I just don't know how much time your characters actually spend on that. But continue, Neil. Um, I mean, it's pretty much the end. Uh, this, yeah. These guys are either bandits. Yep. Uh, essentially, they're they're working for um, Dreyfus, who they may or may not know is a vampire. Uh, they know he's a crime lord at the least. Yeah, I, I would I would actually I would do interject thoughts in into your character's head on you. Um, you would probably make the assumption that people don't know Dreyfus is a vampire based off of the many conversations you've had with uh, Resin slash Resin um, and and whatnot around. So, but but you can still at least uh, rest your head on a pillow at night knowing that these are still not good people. They're yeah, I mean, uh, and and a good portion of them did surrender. Um, we just had to force that surrender by uh, some clobbering. Uh, and that's it. That's where we got up to. They surrendered. They threw their weapons down. Yes, they did. the bowman who shot Tarak are alive. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know. Um, so so the combat ended. The, the, there's uh, How many were left when they surrendered? I think I have it right here on this map. Uh, give me half a tick. Um... Uh, do, 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 do. two? There were two left. No, three. Three? It was two or three. Because were there any even any archers left? Oh, six were left. There were four archers and two melee people left out of the original twenty-four people. So three quarters of them are uh, injured or dead. Um, and then you have um uh the 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 uh remaining ones there they just throw down their weapons we're literally picking up with rp happening uh with that all uh transpiring oh everybody's try, trying to get to that that last yes. little five percent nudge it but, over yeah, that, that <laughs> nudge. 13 seconds left well probably five by the time it's actually heard by chat all right cool so um it, oh it cut five seconds short it did cut short. Wait, it cut like five, six seconds short. I've been uh, trolled, but I did get a hype train of mine. I waved. Uh, that's funny. Well, 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 that 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 sucks. We'll just count it as a five. Because that was like that was like four percent away, or whatever it was, and it ended up cutting short. That's stupid. So and it changes for everybody. Like you and I might see it just cut it like five, six seconds short. For others, it says like twenty seconds short. It's so annoying. Yeah. Because sometimes I see it, it cuts like forty seconds short. All right. Um, we can just count this as five. We're four percent away, anyways. All right. So um, pick it right up into RP. Um, uh, where were we? Um, with they literally just threw down their weapons. Once more with feeling. Oh, look at that. Steve would have thrown it over anyways. Thanks, Steve. Uh oh, he's got the devil's number again. Um, so. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, who I wants to start so. talking to the boys that surrendered? Or I should say the people. They're not all boys. They're throwing down their weapons? Mm hmm. Downstairs, now. And I. I, like, point towards wherever the staircase down is. Or ladder down, or rope down, whatever it is. Okay, because these so, guys are uh, the on the elevated area, right? Uh yes. Um, so 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 uh, the, that's the four archers. They will make their way down the uh, uh, down the stairs to, to wherever it is that they were they were going. I mean, you can see. Uh, sorry, uh, Tesh, per- perception check as you're watching them from your floating crystal ass up in the middle of the skies. So two. Um, 
um uh so so never mind um instead of that bit what you end up noticing is that as they're walking by other injured people um for the most part they're literally stepping over around them some of the people you can see that they're like uh i should say like some of the 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 four people walking downstairs are like looking at the other injured on the grounds with a, con a, a com combined look of both like hope and concern it's like not hope with, uh, with, with concern and fear and whatnot, as I see like the others on the ground like writhing around in pain. Um, so you kind of get the impression that, um, you know, they're either afraid. Uh, I, I had you roll perception instead of sense motive. Um, they get the impression that they're either afraid um, uh, <laughs> for themselves or like I genuinely concerned about the, <laughs> that's fine, it's too late. Uh, or the well-being of the people that are, that are on the ground. You get that kind of like sense. Uh, and hopefully this coffee will kick in and we'll do the correct rolls moving forward. Um, that's what you kind of get as they're going down. Uh, Vigo or um, Tristan, do you say or do anything immediately as the combat ends? Um, for me, um, you can see, because uh, Vigo more or less, I think just got finished like ripping into one. Um, and you can see him turn to the others, even though they're throwing down their weapons. Um, and there's that, look of uncertainty in his uh in his eyes oh yeah i look like a woman don't i that's right so there's that yeah, as well yeah um <laughs> but uh then i just start tending to my own wounds so that's what um, i'm doing okay sure so Once. so 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 you you then turn and just start looking to your own wounds I, I imagine you're like literally just checking them you're not actually dressing them really yet um, no, what I, what I more or less what I did because I I healed last the end of last session. I just took a uh, an extract. Yep, 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 yep. I remember you had yeah. said that. I think it was right after we went, uh, went off of being live. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're like, hey, can I just do this right now? And I was like, if you want to, and, and you drank it. Um, which you had rolled. Uh, actually, I could scroll up to so check and see. You had rolled uh, really a 12, well a twelve on that cure yeah. wounds. Yeah. yeah, you just didn't want to forget, so you did that last session. Um, yeah, that's all right. right. Yeah. And Neil, what are you doing? Uh. Tris will dismount and look at the arrows that are in Karok. Okay. Um, with, with quite an obvious look of anger, and then um, turn to the surrendered men who are walking over um, and growl at them and say, help your friends. Okay. Um, they will immediately uh, like get up and scramble just to get away from you uh, to go help out uh, the, the, the other injured people. Um uh, Neil, just to I'll uh, just, puncture... Go ahead. I'll, I'll basically... I'll uh, just... You too. To the, the ones that are, go, that are coming down, basically saying they can do it as well. I'm going to just sort of like... I'm watching them. Because I, I don't I don't need any maintenance or anything at the moment. Um, I only lost five health. Uh, so I'm just going to watch them and make sure that everything's okay. Okay. While, and while they deal with wounds and stuff. Uh, Neil, you can go ahead and roll me an intimidate check. And just, uh, I mean, they're going to do it either way um, for, for a myriad of reasons, but just to layer that on there real quick. Uh, in the meanwhile... <laughs> and just to be clear, I'm ominously floating around them rather yes, than walking yes, around yes. them. <laughs> yes. I always imagine you're floating as being like the uh, god mode in uh, uh, the cheat code in the original Diablo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the <laughs> totally, you, 100%. like that relaxed, poised stance as you're just like floating <laughs> <Yes>. around. <laughs> um, the admins on online service. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. That that's what that's what Galen is. He's just an admin. <laughs> Especially right now, because because the costume doesn't have all the the crystal stuff, so all the jets are hidden. So he's just sort of a person floating there. <laughs> no, oh, that's right. It's the illusion. That's the right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's funny. So, so <laughs> even beyond that, you're not even what you look like. You like look out yeah. of sorts, you know. So look like, really out of place. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you like move slightly strangely because it's just an illusion and stuff. That's funny. All right, cool. yeah, we've all got trench coats on, and Carrick looks yeah. like a different horse. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um. Uh. Novisor, what, what, you're a champ. That's what it is. Is you're you're you're, you're a champion. Um. All right. Anyway, so back to you guys. So um. Uh, you're looking at the horse. Uh, roll me. Uh, so Tristan, you made the intimidation check. You're looking over Carrick. I imagine you're removing the arrows uh, in the places that you can. You know, kind of trying to, to to help out where you can. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you guys are now all gathered down there. W w like, I mean, so they're checking on their own wounded. 
what do you want to do? Do you want to like have like a quick chat with one another, almost like a huddle up? Um, like what? What's the plan? Just, just would lean in and say, we should find out who or what is here. Yeah, that would be uh, helpful to know what we're walking into. Hold, uh, hold Carrick still, and he'll get out one of his uh little vials and he'll say uh this should work should <laughs> and i will heal carrick he'll he'll grab hold of carrick and as you step forward he'll be like he bites so 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 so, so norway came up with a great idea in chat that is you, so good yeah yeah you have to start making sugar cubes of healing for carrick that's <laughs> nice unfortunately we don't have any so this one has to go up the bum Oh, that was a good roll too. So, what? Uh, what is it? What is he on now? Apparently, uh, your hand. Apparently, he's on you. He's, you're wearing <laughs> a, wearing him like a puppet. <laughs> uh, I can just write. It's like uh, the spell. Good. Uh, sorry, with the sugar cubes. Good berries, except good sugar cubes. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I like it. That's cute. Good berries don't heal a lot, but like that would be a. Um, uh, we just call him. We just call him good cubes. Yeah, good cubes, but right? n- n- now hold on. Is good berries? That's probably not a. Um, I don't uh, know if it's an a alchemist. Though, yeah. No, it is. It's not an alchemist oh, one, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodberry's been around for ages. Oh, yeah, ages. probably not. It'd be like a, a druidic up. sort of thing, right? To yeah, but sometimes it's crossovers. So it's dru- druid, shaman, and seasons. How seasons much is he short? Cleric subclass. Ten. Just ten. All right, I'll do one more. We're going to have a drink while I'm floating around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. He's cool. Uh, rangers apparently don't. Uh, n- uh, oh, or uh, yeah, Rangers have their own spell list. I didn't say Rangers. But Hunters they use the like uh, Druid special. spell list, so they would. Oh, there you go. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, so, yeah, you heal him 22 points of damage, and um, uh, that's awesome. You now are unfortunately running very low on magic. Um, but, but yeah, you're, you are good to go there. Um, sure. So while you're going over there, kind of a healing of Carrick, I imagine, uh, as uh, Gallon was saying, he is floating around and just keeping an eye to make sure that these boys are, in fact, on the up and up, and they are, in fact, um, uh, doing things to make sure that they're not being a little fucky aroundy. Uh, while Tesh is away from the computer, I'm going to go ahead and roll for him his sense motive check, uh, just so he can not have to run back. He can get his beverage and not stress about it. Um, I'm back, but also uh, Virgil would be assisting Oh sure. Then you go ahead and you can roll for both of them. You are back now. I don't want. I don't want to take away the dice from you. Uh, okay. So first of all, Oop. that's a plus two. Uh, right? I, I said. I actually said sense motive. This time I said the right one. Oh, uh, actually, then then never mind. Ignore that roll entirely because Virgil can't sense motive. Okay, so. sure. Virgil's just watching. Yep. <laughs> Filthy Virgil. Virgil the Virgilant. All right, cool. Ah, you actually, you, you pick up very quickly uh, um, that the people that y- y- are around, they are in fact doing exactly what you said that they should be doing. They are tending to the wounds of those that are checking to see if there's anybody alive or dead. Uh, to the point where one of them even kind of like calls, like looks to another one and asks, what should we do with the dead? You know, you know, and, and the, they kind of shrug and say, don't know yet. And they kind of like leave them there for now. But the 27 gets you more than them just doing exactly what you said. You can also see they're all they're all like kind of trying to secretly talk to one another as well, like a little bit of innuendo, uh, you know, like, you know, like little just like gestures, so hand signals, faces. Go ahead. What I'm gonna do is uh, uh, when I the next time I see one of them trying to you know, get the attention of another one, I'm literally gonna float down in between them, facing him. There you go. Cool. And because it's an illusion, you have your real face pop out on one side and the other. No. <laughs> <laughs> that would be horrifying. Yeah, it would. But, uh, oh. um, just, just like Crystal and then punk. <laughs> 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 uh, um, anyways. And then I'll just say, don't try anything. Don't no they, try it. We have the high ground. <laughs> <laughs> take, take the dead over there. High up the wound. They, um, uh, they, they, of course, uh, are very, no roles, completely uh, compliant. Continue. 
that way, uh, they both know that I knew that they were talking to each other, and also know that I heard what they were saying, <laughs> which uh, should should discourage the chatter. Yep, it does. Right, after fact. I'm uh, finished with uh, Carrick, I want to go and look over, just have a glance, um, and kind of look at who's going to like the wounded, who's likely to live, who's likely to die. That's going to take time. So you're welcome to do this, but to be clear, there are uh, 18 injured people. So that's at least, uh, plus walking around and everything, this is at least five minutes of work. And the only reason why I bring this up is because you have yep. spells with ticking timers. You are yeah, wel yeah. Um, you're welcome to do so this. Just so you're aware, I don't want to help them. I just want to know. I, no, I understand. Yeah. Um, uh, what is your minimum? Like if you just took a one on um, uh, your knowledge nature or whatever it's called. Um, it is a 21. Perfect. Then you, you will, I uh, no rolls. You automatically are able to go around and succeed on everybody. I honestly don't remember all of the, uh, uh the, the dead versus dying. I know that pretty much everybody that Neil attacked is like dead, 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 dead. So, so let's give Neil like a solid, you know, five kills. So five are just were... dead, dead, dead. There were only two that I just, uh, I just killed, and they were Virgil's kills. Oh, like, I only charged like three, no? Right? You, but you also hit another one pretty hard, if I remember right. Maybe. Yeah. So there were two that Virgil only just killed. They would be. I mean, I, I, I'll be honest. I think Carrick down three. I think I charged like yeah, two or three, Carrick and Carrick, Carrick just went fucking buck wild in a couple of them. I'm pretty sure I got three as well. I I, I really hurt at least four. Two, as I said, two I only just killed, so they would be uh, stable, actually, wouldn't they? If ten damage was their health, right? Boom. Okay. Yes. Uh, ten. Uh, uh, ten damage. Uh, yes. I was like, it was. Yeah, so was and actually, depending on the people, it was between uh, eight and twelve. I had okay. all of them kind of tracked on the little fake map we had there. Yeah, but cool. but yeah, so so um again, so five we already know I'm automatically dead. That brings us down to uh, nineteen remaining. Six are removed from that because they're walking around. So that brings us to thirteen remaining. Of the remaining thirteen, I think Tesh like s solidly killed three of them. So that gets us down to um, ten remaining. Of the remaining ten, uh, I will allow somebody in chat to roll how many of them uh, uh, are alive still. Uh, who I would do you like think it to be high? Norway. Norway, please. Because I, don't know if he I would wants like it on his on his. No, no, you know, that's no, exactly. That way, that you may pick Norway. You may pick Norway, but he gets to roll twice, and we'll take it with advantage. Yeah, you see, there we go. that makes me even more lawful good. <laughs> there, there we go. We'll, we'll give Norway advantage on this roll. <laughs> yeah, no one else gets advantage, Norway. So it has to be you. You're the only one who have has the greatest chance of saving Help all me, of Norwegian them. Green. You're my only hope. <laughs> D10. D10 Definitely these people's only help. Oh, D10. I see it. Did I show you guys this, this new mug I got? Oh, it's cute. That's I like cool. it. I like that a lot, yeah. Yeah, I bought it when I was on um, uh, at Old Orchard Beach from people that do every run fair except for King Richard's Fair. And it's they, cute. They, it's funny. They actually said, we don't do King Richard's Fair because that place, um, while the fair is fun for the people that go, they treat their vendors like crap, and most of their cast uh, is treated subhuman. And for that, I say, oh. oh my god, I hope that's not true. I love V-Sword. V-Sword's not subhuman. V-Sword's superhuman. Oh. Yeah. A seven is greater than average. Yep. Well done, Norway. You saved many of them. You see, V-Sword agrees. She's superhuman. So... So that I mean, means I, I would agree with that. I have never seen a person struggle more with Uncharted than v -Sword. Like, that was superhuman <laughs> fish. No, I can't, I can't v <laughs> uh, Oh, boy. That was a mistake. <laughs> v, v -Sword, the next critical hit, that's for you, okay? Um, I will I will beat the shit out of Carrick for you, v -Sword. What? No, not Carrick. No, no, v -Sword, it's for you. She doesn't want you to have I really hurt you got all your crits out last session. <laughs> <laughs> Not the horse. That's he's a good boy. Well, look, I enjoyed watching it. If it makes you feel better, yes, see, he sort of. Don't you hurt that horse? <laughs> I, I can't read that that message. It came in blurry for me. 
Um, anyways, so um, uh, back to the game. You have 13 survivors, as, as far as you can tell. So 13 people alive. Um, uh, cool. So, uh, uh, and, and Jake, um, uh, just to, you said you're not going to be helping them. Out of those 13 people that are surviving, uh, you know that like some of them are, uh, like it would take you maybe um, uh, to stabilize uh, a couple of seconds for each of them. So you could actually stabilize, you know, um, the, the three or four people that are like bleeding out uh, right now. Uh, it wouldn't take you much. Uh, it wouldn't take you long, and it wouldn't take you much by way of supplies uh, to do so. Would you want to stabilize the, the the three people that are very injured? No. Okay. Cool. Vigo just says, uh, "He's fine. He's fine. That one's dead. <laughs> dead. Dead. He'll be dead in a minute. Uh, that one looks like he's got." Five minutes, maybe. He's okay. He's gonna get through. Well, didn't come out of that too good, did you, boys? Um, my uh, my friend I also here. I love that your voice you is might... coming out of a woman right now as well. <laughs> yeah. My friend here, you might notice, is a Sergian. He has the power to save your friends. If you answer the questions, he might be persuaded to do so. Make yourself useful to us, and uh, we can scratch your back. Leader among you? Um, uh, so a couple of things real quick, and then I'll answer your question. The font on Roll20 changed for those numbers. It's weird. Uh, second of all, oh, um, uh, that was uh, assuming you don't assist. Uh, that was them assisting each other to get those uh, those uh, uh, modifiers. You see two fails and one success. And then to answer your question, uh, one of them will chime up and say, not really, no, no. And they point at a dead body, like like one that Neil skewered, <laughs> and say, uh, that was that was her. So you all bear the responsibility of their lives then? Uh, kind of like shrugs and looks about. Who was the guy on the door? Um, uh, so he's dead, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, he's very dead. No, he's, no, I don't oh, think Oh, actually, he no. No, because no, Neil you, charged him and he him. lived. That's yeah. right. He he's, was number 25. He's stable. Yeah, that's right. He's stable outside. Um, uh, they go. Um, oh, we don't actually know if he's stable, but he so was in outside, the negative and had Scott, to We got them all to group up. So all the people who are alive are now together. All the dead bodies are in the corner. And I assume once the the people tied up the the all the wounded, we would tie them up so they're all t tied up, or at least maybe they're all tied up at the moment. What do you guys think? Do we need any of them? Nah. Okay, they so broke. Yeah, they're all tied up. I, I like. I don't think we need to tie them up. Like they broke. They're they're too scared of us. They'd like to run, I suspect, rather than try and fight. So the the, the guy at the door. Uh, they, they point over there and they say, oh, him, uh, th that's Aiden. Y yeah. He's, you know, not really a, a leader of a group, but you know, uh, had a bit more know-how than we had just, you know, following orders and, and, you know, I I'll help you if I can. I don't know. It looks down again at the bodies, looks back up. I you want to know how to get in? Yeah, and uh, who else is here? Just, just they, they sound off their names. No one downstairs. Oh, uh, yeah, there's there's people down there. Who? Oh, I don't know all the names. Uh, if I had to guess, there's maybe about the same number as up here. Maybe maybe, <sighs> maybe, maybe, maybe a bit more. God. Maybe a bit more. What are they allergic? Uh, I mean, he looks down. He kind of like taps his foot. Um, it's not exactly completely solid, and a horse is pretty loud. So, uh, I'm guessing. I mean, we weren't really aware you were coming in. You kind of came in quick, caught us off guard. But I'm sure they heard the scuffle. How do we get in? Um, well, uh, he points at a crate. Uh, can I? He goes over to the crate 
and um, he puts his hands on it. Like you see, like he's about to start doing something to open it, but I don't know if you guys are ready for him to open it or not yet. <laughs> it's like a save point in a video game. Are you ready to proceed? No. <laughs> Wait. How many uh, that? Uh, he goes, oh, just the one. It's the, the one way in and out. And somebody else calls across and says, no, it ain't. He goes, yeah, it is. I've been working here two years. It's the only way in and out. Nah, -uh. the fuck. And, and, and they're like, you you didn't hear about last night? Hey, no, I I wasn't here last night. I was down dockside. I got called over here this morning. Last night they attacked from another place too. Apparently, there's another way in from outside. And he goes, yeah, it's the sewers. And they're like, that's it. Yeah, the sewers. They they went straight in down below from there. Can you get us out? Um, uh, oh, I, I, I didn't know it existed till, till shit went down last night. I, I don't, I don't know how to get there. I just know it exi it, it exists. We, we don't want to go in there, do we? Uh, so you guys don't know. Um, uh, any direction that's, they're not planning for is the better direction for you, right? Kind of get, r b rushing from behind sort of a thing. Um, but didn't they burn that, that spot yesterday? The other people know it exists, but they don't know if we... They, they obviously heard us, and they'll probably think we're coming the other way. Yeah, so so if you're saying um, uh, burn that spot, meaning they're aware of the fact that th they know that your team knows that entrance, sure, yes, that, that is true. Uh, however, it's a matter of which one they're going to be defending more, uh, if they're defending both, you know, that whole bit, right? So you could still do like a two-pronged approach, so on and so forth. But, uh, go ahead. Um, I don't think splitting up is a good idea at all. No, I don't. Uh, I, definitely I definitely think we should just continue from here. All right, if, if we do, it's going to be, uh, we go through that door, it's going to be a lot of fire. Well, I don't, I think he's full of shit. I don't think there's more people. I don't think Can there's I another 24 Can I sense motive, uh, what he's been saying? <clears throat> uh, yeah, of course. I mean, Jake called out sense motive. He was just the only one that rolled it. I know. Right? He's literally, he just he gave just me a reason loud. to sense motive, which is why I hadn't done it till now. There we go. All right. So, um, uh, 23. Yeah. No, they, 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 even their banter back and forth between them. It all seems genuine. Again, you're not just getting that they're being genuine. They're scared. Like they truly believe miss floating around scary lady. They truly believe miss uh ripping people apart with your hands while still having no blood on them they truly believe that if they're not compliant they're going to end up like the dead bodies they just shifted around and uh, on the floor right like they're very scared and are very compliant right now they rolled a one uh last last so round. these are all uh I, I whenever i'm talking it's it, into their heads just uh just as a reference to your to the pcs not, yeah yeah whenever i'm not talking in the the, the thing uh no, I I believe them. There, we we rile, we shook them pretty good. If they I think there will be people waiting down there. We can do it. I think we can. It's just a matter of how much we spend doing it. Just want to have our options on the table before we go in. I'd rather face another group like this than uh, one of those beasts they have locked up down in like a sewer. I think when they get desperate, well, they'll release the beasts regardless. Exactly. Mm. People are stupid. I think the faster we can do this fight, the more chance we can get them before they release anything, which I think will be better for. And, and he's going to sort of like look towards the outside, anyone who's still left in this area. Okay. I mean, Let me you get actually... out a uh, like a notebook. And I'm just going to be asking for, like, you know, their names, all that stuff. And I'm going to be asking Gallon if he could assist me with finding out if they're full of shit when they're trying to tell me this. Yeah, sure. There is a I poll in chat, just so you guys know. Go ahead and listen. Yeah, I want uh, all of their names. Okay, they give you their names. Yeah. I want to know if that's their actual names. Yeah, I, I'm sense motiving them while they're doing it to make sure they're giving me their actual names. It, it, they're giving you their actual names. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll just nod. I, 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 again, like barring 
a unique scenario right now. They're shitting themselves. These are these are what like level two warriors. So <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna turn to one or of them. Fighters. Do you, I'm gonna turn to them. Do you know the layout of the Rubicon? Who's been down there recently? Um. Uh, let's see the uh, layout. Um, so uh, the one that was kind of speaking before goes. Um, I, I've been down there maybe like three times, and you had already heard them say that they've worked here for two years. Um, I, I I don't really, I don't really know uh, layout. Um, I, I can tell you what it looks like, I guess. And one of the There's other ones. Doors are uh, where cages are, anything like that, something, any of that information. Oh. Uh, if, these, if they release the creatures that are down there, and they're going to look towards people who are tied up, they're not going to last long. Release the creatures? And one of them's like, I believe it. And they're like, oh. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. The... The uh, when you go when 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 the thing opens up, it's like uh, stairs going down, right? And then at the bottom of the stairs is like a, a door just to like make sure people can go in, right? You know, so like it's like uh, to make sure like they get through that door and they come through here, like the only the right people get in, you know, no one slips past her, yeah. Um, and then it's a pretty big open room, um. Well, it's a pretty big room. I don't know how open. Like, there's a bunch of cages down there, right? Like, where the fights happen and stuff. And there's, like, uh, 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 tables off the side where, like, you place your bets. And, you know, there's, like, usually lots of people, you know, guarding it and stuff to make sure, like, no coin and things get, get took. Um, that's why I've been down there before I had to guard a... T uh, anyways. Um... And then there's like doors on the walls on the on the outside, and um, yeah, I know one of those doors is where Dreyfus used to always be. Uh, I think they said it was like his office or something. Um, uh, but like the other doors, I don't I, I don't know where they go. Which um, was that door? Uh, it's, uh, I think when you get downstairs, it was on um, your right hand side. I'm pretty sure. What did it look like? Anything special on the door? It was a door. Door um, handle, scratches, window. Uh, li li listen, um, it gets hazy down there. Like, um, like you know, lots of pipe. Um, yes or no will do. I don't know. I guess this fella could get us in through the door down there. Earn freedom for him and all his mates. How does that sound, boys? Do you want he repeat hit this guy's name? Want him to earn you freedom? Did you say that to that? Oh, I thought you were saying it to mm -hmm. the uh, to the PCs. I'm saying it to them. Uh, they're like, yeah, we'd like to go. Uh, yeah, we, we, we'll, we'll get out of here. What do you think, Magpie? Uh, uh, uh. I don't care about these guys. All right then, you get us through this door, no problem, and the rest of you can go. I think. That sound fair? That's yeah. Okay. Yeah. Leave the weapons though, boys. Don't want you uh, getting in trouble with the guard, eh? Um, so they uh they will um uh leave the weapons behind and then they'll turn to start walking out. Um uh so so the door, sorry. The, so first the thing like one of them will actually walk over and like uh, to the, the the crate that I said that they were approaching beforehand. Um they they show you how the crate is kind of like on a bit of a slide so like imagine that almost like a two by four 
um, or I don't know what you guys call them. Oh, over there, you don't use inches. Uh, like a 20 by 30 or some shit. Uh, whatever you call, like a typical piece of building wood. What do you call a 2 by 4 in, <laughs> when, when you use the metric system? Let's see. What is the metric equivalent uh, of a 2 by 4 DIY Reddit. Give me an answer, baby. A 47 by 100? <laughs> <laughs> what, you, what would you guys call it over there? A plank of Just wood. Just call it a two by four. Do you call it a two by four? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so you're saying that the imperial measurement reigns supreme when building your homes? I don't know. I'm not a builder. Okay. Cool. Just, all right. Just, just saying. Feeling pretty sweet over here in America. By the way, two by fours <laughs> aren't actually two by four. They're like... Um, one and three quarters by like, uh, uh, three and three quarters. They don't even make sense, but that's okay. Um, that's just for cost reduction, but moving on. So, um, uh, sorry, brain's not working. So, so they, they, they show you how it's like more or less the, the crate or whatever they sit in there on like a bit of wood. Cause you can imagine like in a warehouse, there are boxes that sit on the ground and then there are boxes that are going to be sitting on pallets. Uh, and boxes yeah. that are sitting on like uh, things so it's set in such a way so like when it's pushed it's easier to slide back like it almost has like um like a bit of like steel at the bottom of the crate to allow it to slide much more easily uh, on the back side and that reveals like a hatch that opens up again it's not like hydraulics or anything like that but it opens up relatively easily and even has like a bit of like a chain that can like chain up onto the crate that that was just pushed back so we can keep like the the, the hatch door open um when you guys inevitably open it you'll see like there's a a nice stairwell going down or whatever but we'll get to that in a second they show you how to do it um and they're like there's no locks or, or tricks or nothing there's no uh like traps or nothing like that it's clear down you know what about the door at the bottom uh that that uh um i think it locks um uh yeah 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 actually yeah it does there's um uh what would you call it like a, a like a barricade like a like a bit of wood um Shit. that goes uh you know sits inside some slots uh that that that's what's down there uh if they're locking it up or you know but uh i don't know if it's still working after last night i don't know how far in they got and they'll look over to the other one that was there last night uh, and they'll actually say, um, uh, no one made their, got their way all the way downstairs last night. They got I'm in. I'm going to send a, a missive to both of them saying we could get him to give the old clear, say that they got us. And then as soon as that door uh, unlocks. One of you boys is going to need him to unlock the door then. You've got wounded upstairs that need looking at, right? They must have some form of medics down in the gladiator arena. Huh? Um. Uh, so, unfortunately, none of them are really able to answer that uh, question. I mean, it's not unreasonable to believe that they would have, like, medical supplies down there for patching up the people that they make money off of or the creatures they make money off of in between fights. But that doesn't, you know, you know, that doesn't guarantee it. Any volunteers? He um, looks at the person who was down there last night. Um, and so you're the volunteering to do what exactly, Neil? If you could reiterate. Go down the stairs uh, with us. And then when we get to the door, if it's barricaded, knock and ask them to open up. Tell them they've got wounded upstairs. Um, uh, uh... And they're like, like you're asking that person specifically. So obviously they're like nervous and, and like don't really want to answer. But then as they're being nervous, somebody else chimes in. One of the ones that was relatively silent and, uh, you know, almost like coming to their defense. They're like, uh, they would know it was a trick, right? Like they would know it was a trick. So, you know, not even really worth the try, uh, says the other person. Again, like you can tell pretty easily, especially with uh, uh, Gallon's awesome sense motive. They're literally just trying to defend their friend here, but they, they are also manipulating, if you will. That person doesn't, the person you asked this question to directly doesn't respond. They're kind of like waiting to hear how you react to what that one just said. 
I'll I'll inform the other two that they're defending, but they're also manipulating to this might actually work. Yeah. Oh, if it doesn't work, at least you had a good old try then, eh? Oh, yeah. (laughs) Oh, I'm fairly certain you boys already agreed to earn your freedom, no? We had a deal, didn't we? Um... Uh, for this one, because you're actually convincing them to do something outside of what they would normally be comfortable doing. Um, I'm going to stand in the doorway just saying that as well. They will uh, uh, absolutely take an um, uh, intimidation check, Neil. This isn't really persuasion. You're not being persuasive. Oh, okay. They're like, they're like uh, kind of, you know, yeah. Yeah, I'll... Uh... All right, yeah, I'll help. And they look back at the others. Like almost like longingly, and the others like, oh, bye then. <laughs> <laughs> Once combat starts, just mm-hmm. will clap him on the shoulder and say, "Good lad." Um, the other five will uh, uh, like as you guys are pushing this crate open. I imagine you just have Carrick, you know, um, uh, almost like nudge it with his ass or. Or throw a rope around and have Carrick put or whatever it might be. Again, it moves pretty easily. No, Carrick got just... shot. Oh, my Chris apologies. would do it. My apologies. I know he's um, been healed, but he got shot. How's Carrick going to come down here? Or is it just stairs down, not like it's a, stairs a, a ladder, then stairs? But we need to have a look at the um, the size of the door. You'll have to squeeze through, no doubt. So so you will... Um, what was the word I was going to say? You will, uh, you know, two of you, it's a gallon and Tristan are able to push the thing uh, open with, with relative ease. You know what I mean? So you get down there, you push it. Even Tristan could have done it by himself if he wanted to uh, with relative ease. Um, so you're pushing the thing to the side as the other five are walking out, right? They're clearly not taking the injured people, right? There's, they're not going to be able to carry seven injured people, but that's a problem for a different time. So the other five are walking out. Uh, as you guys are pushing it open and whatnot, um, you can all go ahead and roll me uh, perception checks real quick. Um, though uh, uh, there is a minus because you guys are actively scraping something opened. Oh. You're fine. Uh, I'm just giving an offset of five for Gallon and uh, Tristan, but you're fine. It's okay. I failed anyway. Hey. Cool. Uh, Vigo, uh, you actually hear as um as as uh the people are walking outside so like they're over there doing the thing you're kind of like watching maybe checking your supplies whatever it is and then all of a sudden you hear somebody go no 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 huh! and then you actually hear like ah as, as, as you hear violence of sorts happening outside and then you hear uh others like no no hold on uh from the, uh, i'm gonna the look fire. outside because i was i was by the door so i'm yep. gonna look outside you you go outside so you like quickly go to look outside. I imagine you don't just jump out the door, but you like you know uh, somewhat defensively like peek outside, and you yeah. actually be days it. What? You, you actually see that there is a person outside, um, uh, clad in very heavy armor, like well made. The very Black heavy Knight. Uh, very, very heavy. Is it armor. is it that description? Tell me, it is. Oh, oh no! What, what do you mean by the Black Knight? It's the Black Knight. It's, is it was, the guy the that dude killed the commander? Slaughtered he, everyone. He, he, yeah. was a, he was a king's guard, but we 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 were calling him the Black Knight because he was he he was at the Black Knight. Yeah, he's not a Black Knight. He's the Black Knight. Oh, I understand. Okay, so yeah. you you um uh, see somebody clad in well made uh very heavy armor, uh literally standing there with a, a sword in hand, as there is now a, a a person bleeding out on the ground in front of them, and the other four around just kind of like pleading, no. no they let us live they let us live like like stop 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 and they they, they, uh, looking at the uh, others around and literally ask them um like uh uh and had you offered the the opportunity would you have let them live and then as the other four are turning to to like uh try to flee or get away they're gonna like take like a, a quick step up and go to thrust at another one do you say or do anything to interject at this point uh is it is it that the guy you have no idea because you never saw we that. Got, we got, saw him. We heard we got the description. Ex- like, very, like, a well description. Then what okay? I would it say... It doesn't fit that description. And we what have I, the name of the dude as well, because Risen told us the, the name. Yep. What I would say is that this armor definitely looks like it could be the armor of the person that you're thinking of. Okay. R- uh, tell me what his name was again. Rowlin? All right. Give me a sec. 
Not to be confused with Rylor, who was a friend of yours and unfortunately died. I miss oh, Rylor. that is so fucking lucky. So lucky. Rylor was reasonable. Uh, Ry yeah, Rylor was was just reacting to situations, but wasn't an idiot, right? Um, and turned yeah. out he was actually a decent dude. People actually mourned his his passing. Anyway, so um, so uh, they literally as that other one as they 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 scramble to get away. Um, uh, one of them they like I said they step up and like thrust at them from yeah. behind. Um, uh, and pull the sword back out, so they end up slumping on the ground. Uh, as well, uh, bleeding out, and then they look at the other three as they're like like rats or or like ro roaches. The light turned on as they're scrambling different directions to get away. They look, and you can see that moment where they're trying to judge if it's worth going after them, and it's not. And so um, they look around at the two bodies, uh, shake their head, and uh, uh, will then look up, and now they see you poking your head through the doorway, and say, uh, "Yeah, straight away, I would yell out, uh, Rowlin." Um, uh, I we you disguise that, so they hear a female voice and see a female because you have the, the voice disguise as well. That's right. Yeah. So you say Rowlin and they look at you and they say, how do you know that name? Man, I need to, I, I set myself a DC of 15 not to attack this dude, man. Yep. Yep. You're good. I have a plus oh. three. I wanted to attack him. It, it, well, they just ask you the question back. Uh, how do you know that name? Be like, uh, I'd step out and I have my crossbow. Like I pull my crossbow out and the track. He appears and he goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see he's like uh, loading the crossbow and he. You says, guys uh, at this point are finishing pushing the crate to the side because it's not that hard with the two of you together. And you're looking back and you're seeing that the other person that's with you is watching her out in the street in the doorway of the building now pointing a crossbow and you hear what she's about to say back to you sir he says uh that's the name of a murderer <clears throat> that's how i know that name um uh he uh you can see like a frown uh come across their face and they say so then you serve dreyfus as well and he shakes his head stepping forward you're not the one i, I serve was peridel Rowlin. He was a good man and he was good for Melisal Harbor. He had taken one step forward and then he I'm stops. Come to the door. Yep. He comes to the door. Do you step out as well? Yeah, I'm gonna step out with him. Sees another lady step out. Um and uh, he's not a he's not a lady. No, no, they I'm, a dude. I'm a dude on. with a scar on the neck, remember? Oh, that's right, that's right. That's right. I thought you all went like, oh no no no, you were the dude, they were ladies. That's right. Yeah. All right, so anyways. Neil's uh, not a lady either. Where's all, I'm was, the only I think woman. It was just him that was the lady. Scott, yeah. I, I, well, I get Neil it. Neil lady. I, I, th I, th I get it. You want, okay, with you want to, if you want a cross-dressing yeah, campaign, we can make it happen. Because, uh, yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. what you want to do. We yeah, can do it. I couldn't talk We're not I'm here to kink shame you. He couldn't talk because he was a lady, but then he used the spell to make his voice sound like a lady. Yeah. Dude sounds like a lady. Maybe that's why I'm confusing him. because it's two spells for a lady. Okay. So anyways, back to you lot. So he sees this other person step out. And um, uh, like I said, took one step forward and is kind of like assessing the situation and says, hmm, I was told that there was an assault happening here right now. The assumption, based off of what I was told, was that it was going to be a assault by those disruptive members of the military. I believe their names were Vigo, Tristan, and the other name I was not able to acquire. So you I'm, spoke to uh, Risen then? I have received word from Risen, though I am not Rowlin. Who are you? I serve Rowlin, and I say that without the slightest concern in my heart. So you're King's God. He nods. Indeed. Well, today the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Which is why I stand here. From what I understand, you're about to attempt what we already did last night. Yeah, so well, we just got done finishing with... Uh, how many did we just remove from this situation? Uh... Um, Let's call it 24. Total 25. 25. Yeah, let's call it 25. 25. Yep. Well, they're now 25 short. You're more than welcome on the next part. Shakes his head. 
we have our wounds to lick. We have mending that need be done and a new strategy to approach. This will be coming to a conclusion soon. No matter how many of us fall, Dreyfus will not see another sunrise. Mind you, it's already uh, it's already morning, so they mean like tomorrow morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving myself like a 22 hour buffer here. I came for to offer one of two things: an aid in your current endeavor, or to join in the fights that we will lead. Uh, or, or to join in the charge that we will lead next. If you wish not to stand uh, side by side with your enemy on the field of battle, I understand. I also I do not want your... Today, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Where is the charge taking place? Perhaps discussions such as this not best had in the open. There are creatures here that we worry will be released on the pub. Indeed. It is a concern, isn't it? What has been happening in the basement of that building has been a concern for a long time. There is a potential resolution but not one that should be discussed in the open. I come to provide you a degree of aid if you wish to take it. Or you can stay your blade and apply it at a different time. The choice is yours. What do you think? I will um, say that he, he, he will. So you say, what do you think? I imagine in his head, you say, what do you think? I'd then, say that to both of them, but I would also probably relay this, this situation to... to oh, Tristan could hear everything. Tristan. Tristan, yeah, he's right there. Oh, yeah. He could hear it. He cool. just didn't uh, step outside. I'll say, what do you but, think to both but, of them? So then? you say that in their head, but he'll continue with his next part, and he says, um, I will say the aid that I offer will not be offered should you join the fight. It's unique... Um, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, it's unique properties will ha will be reserved for our own. Wait, so, so I'm clear, he's offering to help us now, or do we something later. It sounds so like you can, you can go ahead and roll a sense planned. motive, um, and then based off of that, then I might have you roll one more check, and then I can lay it a little bit more plainly for you. Go ahead, Neil. Sure. And, and Chris, will, Chris will turn to the guy who's next to him and say, stay here and shut up. Not. And then walk, <laughs> walk to join the others. Um, it sounds like he uh, the, the, he'll either give us a buff now, a help a help now, or he he's inviting us to join in their assault because they have a planned assault that's going to happen that is going for Dreyfus. You're going to kill Dreyfus. You're asking him that, right? He he says, "I believe that's been everyone's plan for some time." Yes. It's quite difficult to do. Indeed. You think you know how? There are a myriad of ways to kill a creature like Dreyfus. All right. But you have one. And you think it has a good chance of success. Yes. Well, yes. The issue is fighting Dreyfus directly. He doesn't tend to engage with people individually, but rumor has spread that isn't true for you, Lot, which is why Rowlin is so keen on working with you. Somehow you've gotten beneath his fangs. Tris, and... Tris can... Well, he likes to look at my friend here. He's, he's Tris a pretty would, one, yeah. isn't he? Just would turn to Vigo and step in and say, I can do it. I know you can. But this Rowling, he killed our friend. He uh, raises an eyebrow and says, who? The commander. Um, 
I just want to make sure I don't get this incorrect. This is uh, Battle Commander Rylo. Oh, yeah. Rylo. Okay, cool. Because you, um, because there was also the other Field one that Commander. Died. Yes. What's the face? Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. Because yeah. just because you said that, I, I had to confirm which one you meant. Um, oh, handouts. That's where I have my details. Melissa Harbor. There it is. Okay, Unless cool. you're meta dropping us that. Rowan also killed the female. <gasps> no, 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 I, I just needed to know what you were talking about. So, so you say, oh, uh, no. you say the commander and he says, um, which commander do you mean? Battle commander Rylor. Ah, uh, yes, I believe he did. Has Rowan killed other commanders? In the past? Has met with what many commanders in the on the race? field of battle. He shrugs and says, "I don't trace every step of my, um, uh, of my leader, and I don't follow only his orders." Hmm. Well, I think that's our best chance of victory, right, Tris? Tris will. Uh will pull off his helmet and say seconds to me to work with these people and spit on the floor but yes i want to put dreyfus in the ground permanently we can all always settle our debts uh, another time but for now do you wish the aid for your current fight or would you rather join in one later on? You said you need someone to help with fighting Dreyfus directly. Well, if you wanted to do this your own way, I would not blame you for it. I will tell you this. We are uh, men and women of our uh, word. Those of our order. And if you are sworn to, that you will not be um, attacked on the field of battle, at least not by our will, then you will not be harmed by us. The reason why I add that caveat is we all understand what it is that we are facing. There is the potential that things can go awry. But you have to understand, not by any of our will will you be harmed. Indeed, should you be injured, we will even come to your aid. But you have to be willing to fight shoulder to shoulder. You have to be willing to trust in our plan. You have to be willing to play by the rules. And we all just very well may come out of this. Dreyfus would kill many, many more. Uh, my concern isn't about how many Dreyfus would kill. In fact, the blood that he sheds isn't all concerning. It's the peace that he would bring. If Dreyfus isn't stopped now, he will have a strong clutch in this region. This would cause significantly more harm as the years roll on. Just with lean into Vigo. They say they're men and women of their word. Why not offer them our help? And in return, when we meet this rowling, and challenge him to a duel in front of all his men, in front of all his women. He can't turn it down now. Not when Dreyfus is dead. Take this burden on yourself. These people are terrorists. This could have been a peaceful place for many years. The position of Peridel could have been stronger, more difficult for Dreyfus to take over. Cancer on the underside of the city, rather than one threatening to overspill. 
in a way, this is as much their fault as it is ours. And unfortunately, the best chance of killing Dreyfus comes with fighting alongside them, I think. As much as I really, really don't want to. And like, because it's a telepathic connection, you get that feeling of really disliking it. Uh, but Dreyfus has killed and is going to kill a lot more. So. I agree. Working with them in their assault gives us the greatest likelihood of success. That's what matters now. But for the second part, Triss, take this on yourself. You'll fight for Rylo. He was good to us. He didn't deserve what happened to him. Uh, Vigo will look at you and then he'll salute you. And then he'll turn to the, the, the guy and say, uh, we will join your assault. And I'm going to put like one one hand on on uh, Chris's shoulder and then turn back to agree. Very well then. Hopefully that I will be foolish enough to fill that uh, building with more easily plucked from the fight, the more assets that they throw to a um, spot that they believe to be defensible the um, uh, easier our time will be. We are heading to the docks. Be careful down there. There's... Yeah. Un, there's no, uh, I think you're we're coming going with. with him. Yeah. Oh, we're I going think, now? Yeah. Okay, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. We have a few try. supplies we are going to have to collect real quick. So this is where we bar the door and then set it, the building on fire, right? <laughs> remember that part where this I that said, part, correct? remember that part where I said we do not discuss our plans in the open? Yep. Uh, that... Potting shot at regicide, Scott. Take it for what it is. <laughs> it he turns, he turns and starts joke. walking away. Tris, Tris will walk let, in. Let a joke be a joke, Scott. Well, Tris will walk <laughs> Just will walk into the remaining dude. That was, oh, that was, friends he with wouldn't them, so. actually say that, Scott. Let, 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 let's not remember. They, they are friends with the terrorists. That's true. No, no, they he, are he said the that. Terrorists. Right? Yeah. Um, Tris will turn uh, and head over to the dude who's presumably still waiting in there, being quiet. Yep. Oh, fuck. I think I just, I think I realized what Scott was saying, and I'm, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this is gonna. Oh, <laughs> go and. Uh, I'm right, this is gonna go horribly. Okay, let's go. <laughs> go on down to that door. I'm gonna let them figure it out on their own. If it, if I'm right. <laughs> go on down to that door, and bang and scream and beg for them to open it, and tell them that you're being killed up here. They won't open it. They don't care about you, but it will distract them for a bit. And he'll pull out uh, a single gold coin from his coin pouch. Can you do that? Uh, it's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> I don't... Yeah. Because you already did the intimidation check, you got a 27 or whatever it was earlier, so they're not going to argue with you, right? Like, that still stays. They're going to be like, yeah, but um, I don't want the coin. Yeah, if, the, if things found with the coin, it might be worse. <laughs> Fair enough. In that case, you don't need me to make other ways for it to be convincing, do you? He'll like, as he says this, he'll play his finger along the, the, the pointed tip of his hammer at his waist. They just, they just look down, look back up, and they turn and start walking down the stairs, shoulders slumped. I would never do anything Vigo, like that, but, but he doesn't need to know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Vigo yells uh, out down the stairs after him. Uh, remember when your uh, friends asked you what happened here, the kingfishers took care of this, all right? calls it down the stairs people at the door down there totally hear it <laughs> yeah i did think that i was like oh i was gonna be like i assume he means like before the he guy goes as down the stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well yeah. i was going to say it but scott kept moving it along so i didn't have the chance i was supposed to say this two scenes ago scott all right two scenes <laughs> it's all one scene oh uh, no so you um so you guys leave with them 
as you are, are walking with um, uh, this actually unnamed, uh, heavily armored individual, um, how do you walk? Like, I am. Do the three of you walk like um, uh, Sex of the City style uh, uh, behind uh, him, or do you, does like somebody walk side by side? Somebody walk ahead? Like, how do you walk with this individual? Now, they they, they move at an okay pace. Definitely a little bit slower because you know heavy armor and all. So, um, hmm. can I? Actually, I think Triss moves slower, anyways. He does. Yeah. Yeah, but you're on Carrick. Unless you're exactly. leading Carrick, because Carrick's yeah. injured. I don't know. I wasn't sure. Uh, Carrick isn't actually injured at all, but he would be leading Carrick because okay. he feels sorry for. I mean, Carrick's fine with it, you know. Like this, he's a war horse. This is what he's trained for. But actually, he, no, I, he loves him. I can't go back to favored terrain. My bad. I was about to say I go. I just switch my flight to favored terrain, but that's actually even though it's a, a specific one for Trailblazer, it's not part of the quick swap Trailblazer list. Yep, I understand. Uh, okay, uh, then I'll just keep it on flight. I just won't use it right now. Okay. Um, so, how do you guys walk alongside with the, this uh, unnamed Actually, uh, I assume armored I'll, individual? I'll just disguise is going to drop before we get to the docks, right? No. How long does the disguise last? Seventy, um, 70 minutes. Yeah. Uh, which, which, by the way, walking to the docks, like uh, the amount of time it took for you guys to go from where you were to hear the fight and the talk, which the fight and the talk were honestly the fastest part. Plus walking all the way back, it's at the, the very tail end of it because walking across town is not like the fastest thing in the world. You, you in know that what I mean? case, what I'll probably... You're not going as uh, the crow flies. I mean, it's not done uh, yet. Don't get me wrong. You still, it's still functioning, but... Okay, then I'll yeah. leave it. Yeah, I'll leave it until, until, I, until it's like about to drop off. I'll leave it. Then when yeah. it's about to drop off, I'll switch to Chameleon and I'll, I'll stealth alongside. Okay. Um, so anyways... Uh, uh, but how are you guys walking with this individual? But in front of, behind, some beside? Like, how, how are we doing this? Maybe Trace hey, it matters for the sake of like checks. I'm gonna have you roll. Leading Carrick slightly to the right and behind. Okay. Uh, sorry, slightly uh, okay. to the left, so that if he reaches for his sword in sheath, Tris yeah. can uh, <laughs> grab. Sure. Vigo will stand in line with the okay. bloke. Uh, yeah, and I'll just go whatever the other side is. Actually, I'll be. I'll, if Vigo's on the opposite side from Triss, I'll be on Vigo's side. If the, not, I'll be the opposite side. Gotcha. So, so, so you're. So, my apologies. Vigo is walking adjacent. The two of you are walking behind. Um, uh, uh, I'm behind like him. ever okay. so bit, slightly behind. A little bit behind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ever so slightly, slightly on the left. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, then I, I'm we're, on whatever we're side talking like, Triss isn't. We're so. talking like far enough behind, you can't just reach out and tap, but close enough, you could like. Take like a step forward and tap, and like with a lean, you know. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Um. Uh. So. So. You know. That's realistically, the square behind them, maybe a square between you guys, right? Like. I, I'm. Yeah. But I'm going that's like that's fine. Square diagonal. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, I got gotcha. you. I understand. So. So that being said, um, this is where hexes are better than squares. Um, I recently rewatched um uh NPC Gray or PNC Gray. I always forget CPG Gray, whatever. I always forget their fucking name. Gray. Uh, Gray's hexagons <laughs> are the are, are the best of guns video. I love that video. It's so funny. Hexagons are the best guns. I like yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know. If, I think it's CPG Gray. I forget their name. I don't know. Their videos are awesome. Uh, back to the thing. Uh, I just don't know I, when I don't know what the letters stand for. I can't remember what they are. Right. So um. Uh, anyways, um, what were we doing? Oh, so, uh, while you guys are walking with them, um, uh, before chatting happens, I want the two of you behind to go ahead and roll me a perception check. So CGP, what the fuck does that stand for? Because that's why I can't remember. It's because uh, this is perception, right? Can I get Virgil to assist or is it not that sort of check? Oh, oh my god! Nice, uh, beautiful, Scott. Oh uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I didn't answer you. My apologies. In my head, I did. Yeah, Ooh, I know. I have done that before. So twenty-one. Hey, perfect. Twenty-one. Um, Man, Virgil, Virgil rocked that one. Uh yeah, yeah Viking Tiffany, right? The Tiffany. Uh, I suppose Tiffany is almost like a two-part bit, but um, pretty awesome. Uh, anyways. So, uh, yeah, with a 20 and a 21, because crits don't, the 20 is not auto success or anything. Um, you guys are actually, one of the things that you'll notice, like they're walking, 
they're very heavily armored. Um, you know, of course they have like a, a degree of we call it almost like a cloak or whatever that, that comes like uh, uh, beneath the pauldrons of the shoulders, uh, drops down and actually has like a hood attached to it so they can throw it over if, if need be. Um, that's kind of like tattered up and beaten. You can see their armor has some dents in it and certainly some splattered blood and whatnot, probably because they were part of the battle or whatever that happened last night. Um, you can see that the sword that they have at their side, you can see the knife they have in their boot um uh, and whatnot they don't have a ranged weapon no hand crossbow crossbow or anything like that no ranged weapon on them um you can see that they have uh, at their their side like um, oh no sorry i just realized we left like seven stalingrad cross crossbows back at that place. <laughs> oh shut up <laughs> Most of them, they, they were using short bows they were using short bows um so, so they? they were all, were all the D6s. Sworn they were all, uh, we, yeah, I mean, all we can D6s. probably just drop the Stalingrad now. Just crossbows are that level by default. We know that. Mm. You've seen like five <laughs> in the entire all the campaigns combined. <laughs> no, everyone's got them, Scott. That's what I Everyone I'm has them in, 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 in Valorin. Everyone has them. Um, and your bands. Um, uh, but anyways, so back to uh, where were we? Oh, you see uh, the side opposite where he has a sword strapped. He has another like leather strap that's there that looks like it would be for holding a book or what have you. Uh, it's pretty obvious. That, and that's the side where, where uh, Jake's character is standing. So Jake's character would see that as well. You can imagine that, that that's usually like um, people who have like a, a, a higher religious order, especially like those that engage in like combat. So imagine like, like battle uh, priests or clerics or what have you. Um, they would have right. those there as well. <laughs> so that all hints towards maybe this person being a, a member of uh, like a deep faith or whatever it is. Um, uh, give me a second. Watch yourself. Watch out for smites. Uh, you <laughs> also know that they have like a small uh, uh, pack that they have with them, not like a big hulky backpack like often adventurers have, but almost like, you know what a breeze with like a, like a breeze bag is? You know those like almost like grab bags they always give away that are made out of like... Um, like nylon um at like uh events like ven uh, that you go to whether it be like a like a pax or whatever it is um those little things that kind of like tie close to the top so like a small pack that you put on your shoulders he has like a small like leather uh pack like that and you can see there's something that's like bulky kind of like sticking out of it that that um you can't you can see like it's Definitely like something like it's taking up most of that pack is inside of it that's uh that's there. Um you also notice that um uh behind him, so actually facing you guys. So for him it'd be like a reach behind to grab. Um he has a, a, a potion belt. Uh the potion belt can normally hold four potions, but he has two potions currently inside the belt, the other two uh presumably used uh already because the, the slots are empty. Um so those are kind of like the important details that you see on them uh as they're they're walking forward. Oh and, and the weapon of choice that he has, it's a long sword. So it's not like a bastard sword or anything like that. He has a long sword as his uh, uh, weapon of choice. All right, cool. With that all being said, uh, that's kind of like what you see as he's uh, walking forward. I don't know if any of those details are of notes or are of interest to you or anything you'd want to do with them, but I wanted to give that to you. Um, uh, visually, the potions, you know, can I how to tell what they could be you actually don't see them because you're walking adjacent to him like I said, ah, it's, okay. yeah, yeah 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 it's like right behind um so those two see him um uh what was i gonna say fuck, 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 fuck. oh uh so do you do you, any of you guys say anything as the walk starts or do you wait for him to, to speak first which won't be for like i don't know um a solid like eight minutes or so so you're out of this neighborhood it's one of those uh, real quiet, real awkward walks. Okay, I'm not talking. <laughs> yep. Cool. So, um, uh, as you guys are are uh, uh, walking along, uh, he will finally chime in and say, "Your reputation precedes you." Vigo asks just to confirm, looking at the woman that's walking by his side. Uh, I've gone by Victoria today. Um. <laughs> God damn it! They actually <laughs> will chuckle. Ah! <laughs> ah! It was too. It was too good. It was too good. You actually broke through to the character. <laughs> it was too good. Ah! Oh, God damn it! Your character's charismatic. You know what? I will have you roll a diplomacy check on that one, just to make sure your delivery was like. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Oh, oh god damn it! Shit. Come on, that, that's a, that's a joke so good the heavens open up 
And then, then, then there's like there's like a divine entity that looks down and goes, <laughs> So the fog's gone? <laughs> Oh, nice. That's awesome. <laughs> My daughter. You have right to give here. that one to us now, Scott. Hi, <laughs> Rory. Well, he does My this daughter's looking at me like I'm a psycho bus. because all she hears is me. Very. <laughs> uh... Fun fact: Scott is a psycho. <laughs> That's a fun fact, isn't it? <laughs> Dress. Oh, look at that. You have a starry butt. Alright. You gonna go hang on with Grammy today? Yeah. Oh, I'm a baby. Uh, it's uh. Not, not the craziness! But the craziness is the best part! Oh, it's the best part! I like Uh, is it raining outside? Oh, so maybe it's a cool later? Or... Oh. oh, what the f- <laughs> I just looked at Scott's thing. <laughs> that caught me off guard. Oh. <sighs> Well, this could go really bad. So uh, while Scott's not here, I might tell you what I think Scott was hinting, which I really hope is not the case, and I don't know how the hell he'd pull it off if it was what he was hinting. Mm -hmm. uh, that we might be uh, working with uh, old Regicide again. I doubt it. I doubt it as well. But, like, I feel like that's what he was hinting, and judging by his reaction to when I figured it out, it might be. I hope not. Like I said, I this really is hope not. if that's the case. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck Regicide. Am I agreed to work with uh, the King's Guard? Mm. Might be a step too far. I mean, I'm not going to say anything. Until I drive my lance directly into um, <laughs> one of them. Goes back, goes back. Uh, All right. Sorry about that. That was um, no, Tesh. Um, oh, you heard? Oh, the, the 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 thing you said about the party of the heavens. All oh, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, so, yeah never yeah. mind. Oh, I didn't hear anything else. No. Sorry. <laughs> I'm let my dad borrow uh, Sandman and. Um, uh, he, Rory is very, she has a starter kit of a uh, Pokemon cards. So, um, so it's like a box set that comes with like three decks that are, um, preset. And it even has like the cards are put in a very specific way. So like you can use the instructions to like play it That's out. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, but either way, it's three whole decks is a, a fire deck, a water deck and electric deck. Um, oh, <laughs> to, <laughs> I was like fire water. The next one's going to be grass, right? Hang on. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Electricity. I know. <laughs> weird. Uh, we weird. Actually, they want you to start with fire and electricity. The water deck was like the extra one. Um. Anyway, so uh, because apparently at the place where I like to buy my D and D books, like a local small shop, um, they had like um, like a buy one get one for Pokemon cards recently. So my dad ended up buying her like a crap ton of Pokemon cards. So now <laughs> I was like, well, if you're buying her Pokemon cards, you have to play Pokemon with her. He goes. I never learned how to play that game, so, you know, I don't have to. And I was like, you know, get like, away with it. I was like, but, Dad, it's just like magic. It's even by the same owners as magic. He's like, uh, I was Damn like, I'll send, I'll send the game next time. And he's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he has never gotten his Pokemon. Like, he's, he's, he's a boomer. Pokemon's, you know, we, I used to watch it when I was like 11. And he would just be like, what's this stuff? But he's the one that got me into anime because he's the one that showed me Akita uh, uh, first, right? So, anyways, so um, <sighs> um, he just likes good anime, not crap anime like Pokemon or Dragon Ball Z 
or any of the other trash anime that exists out there. He, he prefers the good stuff. Um, like he'll go with like Hunter x Hunter uh, and stuff like that. But anyways, um, I didn't finish it yet. Um, Viking, I'm like not even halfway in. I haven't, but, start, I haven't started, unfortunately. I'm re it's on my list and I'm really excited to watch it. But I want to sit down and like really like binge it. <laughs> Yeah, um, uh, the casting for it, I thought was wonderful. The portrayal of the characters I thought was was wonderful. Um, the one they got to be the son, uh, John is his name. Uh, it's like the perfect actor to play him because he's creepy as fuck. He's the one that played the werewolf in the Harry Potter series. Uh, I can't remember the character's name in Harry Potter, but. Oh, um, Lupin? Professor, yeah, Professor Lupin, yeah. Which, um, by the way, that name now, thinking about it, how does, it's like, ah, uh, yes. Lupin the werewolf. <laughs> well, we, we already know about what's her name's ability to name things, right? Um, uh, she's kind of an idiot, but uh, either way, perfect, perfect actor for it. he's creepy as hell. Um, anyways, so let's let's get back to playing our game. Um, um, uh, by the way, if you've never read the series, Death was always my favorite character, so uh, I'm excited to meet Death because she is like an awesome character, so um. Uh, where were we? <gasps> he was going it's to say, he was gonna say, yeah, you said that, yeah, I, I go by Victoria now. With your 30 today. diplomacy. Today, today. Uh, yeah. Oh, you go by Victoria, Victoria today. today. My apologies. Um, yes. I, but by now, I meant, like, during yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the casting of the spell. Um, <clears throat> um, he, uh, oh, sorry, he chuckles. Like, a, <laughs> like, you actually broke through. You pierced his armor. No, Neil. Bad. Bad, Neil. Put the lance down. You pierced his armor. That's not a lance. <laughs> um, you pierced his armor and um, and got him to like, chuckle for a second. He goes, well, the word is that you are a very esteemed alchemist. Oh, he's gone. I blinked and he's <laughs> gone. <laughs> I, like, I, he was there. I went to rub my eye. I looked up and he's gone. <laughs> Do you respond? Yeah, you were gone, Scott. Oh, I, I, I have headphones. Don't lie. You were gone. Headphones were off. I like disappeared. <laughs> um, I I sure. to exist. Uh, VS says, uh, thanks. Uh, it's always good to be recognized for your talent, I guess. I mean, it was more meant as a question, but he, uh, pushing on, he says, um, uh, it is possible that you can learn concoctions rapidly. That it is? Hmm. Part of this plan Rowlin has um, put together a I believe you call them formula unfortunately it is not something that is easily uh, transcribed from how it's understood by us to how it's understood by your science hopefully you are able to decipher it he will open up the flap to which you definitely see a tome inside there and he'll like kind of like put aside his hand next to the tome and produce like a <clears throat> a bit of parchment that's folded in half, and uh, he'll hand it over to you. Yeah, I'll, I'll open it up while we're walking and just start taking a look at it. Okay, um, go ahead and uh, you can read it. It's written in a language you can understand. But as you're walking, you yeah. have to write re roll a um, what is it? A, a spellcraft, right? To to uh, decipher magic. He's Probably just one of those people that's like walking along, looking at the cell phone, just walks into something. <laughs> so let me roll a. If this is important, I'm gonna have to. Give me a second. Uh, it sounds um, like this is a really strong thing that you might want to learn. So I'd say it's probably a good, good idea to learn it. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to make sure I have. Um, uh, I I'm almost positive it's spellcraft. Um, yep. But now I have to double check just to make sure I'm not an idiot. Yeah, it's spellcraft. Holy yep. alchemical fire. 
Now that'd be some shit. <laughs> Radiant um, alchemical fire. <laughs> One second. It's not that one. I'm just looking at something to help me out here. Mm -hmm. If I try it now, like while I'm walking, does that mean I can't attempt to do it again? Uh, so actually, the way that this deciphering works, which technically takes yep. an hour, um, uh, uh, you're only allowed to try once per level. That's that's the rules, buddy. All right. Well, I need a minute to uh, mix up one of my open slots into uh, something that can help me. So he hands it to you, and like like I said, you can read the words, but it's difficult for you to decipher. So would you tell him? Do you want to hold up a sec? Once more with feeling. Um. Yeah, he would say, uh, give me a minute. Okay. Can we just stop in, it, uh, into this alley take him an hour to decipher, you said? Yeah, 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 but that'll be for, like, later on. This is just for the sake of conversation. He wants to figure out what it is. Oh, okay, cool. And if he succeeds, I'll allow that to work for the hours check. All right, so I'm going to mix up one of these and mark it off. Um, where did it go? Oh, you were just giving uh, Winifred's wisdom. Oh, oh, fuck yeah. So I was like a hair um, in my throat. And it's killing me. Ah, it's like bugging me out. Here we go. Do you want to use um, Winnie's when you do that? Yeah, I was, was going to ask. Do you, uh, should I still use it? I have a... I don't know what the DC is. And I don't know what they're based on. Um, but I have a, I have a plus 12 to Spellcraft. I'm muted. That's not a secret. It's um uh DC fifteen plus uh spell level. What's the maximum level spell you can cast? Three. So I mean that means the highest DC will be eighteen. And you have a plus twelve and you have advantage. It's up to you as to whether or not you want to um Um What do you guys think? Should I just try and save it for something else, or should I use it this to make sure we have it? Uh, I mean it's a once per level think? thing, so I mean, but you 12 against an 18, so after all, six or higher, and you have advantage on the roll. So it's yeah. up to you. I mean, it's a fa it's fairly good odds, plus you could always roll luck as well. Yeah. Uh, I think I should keep the winnies then. Yeah. Winnies would make it so you're guaranteed success, right? Because there's no auto failure on a one. So. Yeah. Who who gave the uh, the winner for Twister? Steve. Steve. Okay. Uh, in chat, please. Uh, do you want me to use it now? It's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Sure. That's fine. Um But so while he's pulled off to the side anyways, um he would turn to the other two because he's like mixing up a potion and, and all that fun stuff. Uh yeah. when he turns off to the side, he looks to the other two and he says, um <sighs> when we get down to the docks, our target is to um, uh, transport a uh, wagon, not wagon, sorry, a cart full of barrels. Um, indeed, we're actually going to return from whence we came. We're going to return to the place where I just found you. Ah. Uh. Okay, now I think I understand. Uh, is, the, is it happening now? He said it's up to you. I'm gonna I'm gonna use it and make sure we guarantee you get it. Okay, cool. Roll your two d twenty. Um, God damn it! I swear it feels like there's something in my throat, but I can't find it. So maybe it's not there, and I'm just crazy. It's bugging me out. Yep, Couldn't you be the, uh, uh, glands swollen. That sometimes, some, that sometimes makes me feel like I've got something in my throat. Mm. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure. But, okay, so you decipher it. Like I said, after the hour of time that you pass, because this is your understanding of it, and it takes an hour, that's again per the rules. Um, uh, it's actually a, uh, 
uh, a spell called Empower Holy Water. It's actually it's a spell. It's a level two on an alchemist um, list. So the DC was actually only seventeen, um, yeah. and uh, a level one paladin spell. Funny enough. Um, empower holy water. You empower a vial of holy water to deal additional damage to undead creatures. When you empower it and you throw it against an undead creature, you add your caster level on a direct hit or half that amount um, for the bonus damage for splash. So holy water usually does 2d4 against uh, undead. Uh, this means that you would be doing, what level are you, 7? You'd be doing 2d4 yeah. plus 7 with holy water that you throw at them if you cast a spell at, uh, on the holy water. Or if you miss... Or I should say, do the splash. It's one plus half your level, so four points of damage on a splash. D does that include the normal bonus damage I get? What's your normal? Or is bonus that replaced damage? by? Because because uh, I'm an alchemist, I actually get plus my intelligence to uh, splash damage. And, that and that would apply. Damage. That would apply. So it would, in it would include it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that there's Damn. there's nothing that's, that says. So what's your intelligence modifier? Good. Five. Do you have a way of enhancing that with like a, a... Yes. Yes, I do. I can make it a seven. Cool. I mean, I don't know how much you want to... um, Because that's a second level spell on both accounts. I don't know how many you want to use for something mm -hmm. like that. But but either way, yeah. In theory, you could have plus seven, plus seven is plus 14. 2d4 plus 14. You're actually a... a your ability to harm them is now extreme. And the cool part about that is even if they were doing something like engaging in a grapple with your friends... It doesn't matter. You, you're oh, not going to yeah. hurt your friend by throwing it at them. Yeah. You know? That's sick. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So so either way, it, it becomes... Um, uh, uh, holy water becomes very powerful in your hands. So as you're like spending a couple... I bet you again, it takes an hour to fully decipher this so you don't get the spell added to your, your thing yet. You have to have the hour pass. Yeah. But we could say that it takes a minute for you to mix it up and plus four minutes or so of reading. And then like as you're like stepping out of the alleyway... You're, you're like understanding what it is, like reading a bit more before you like fold it up and put it back away. You understand what it is that he gave to you. Uh, what do you say as you leave the alleyway? Uh, if what I'm reading is correct, this is going to greatly en enhance our ability to hurt Dreyfus, especially myself. Indeed. It is a secret that is taught amongst those of my faith and while secrets are generally guarded dealing with creatures such as this puts aside tradition and unites those that would otherwise see each other as foe well I appreciate it it's uh any way to actually hurt Dreyfus is uh is a win in my book to this again we agree now, if you were able to mix that up, that would be very helpful. How many of them do you think you could produce if we were to attack this evening? More if we waited till tomorrow, or I could have a sleep. Uh, but uh... you will have time to rest. You will be guarded. You will be given the supplies needed to uh, produce whatever alchemical measures you need as well as um, uh, having um, uh, an appropriate area to rest your head well if we go all out here I could do four I think that is greater than the number that my order can produce um, while our faith uh, bestows upon us a great many uh, miracles that we can uh, uh, produce um, uh, quite often. Uh, things such as this is uh, limited um, in our ability to do. Paladins don't get many spells per day. Could you... Um, <laughs> would, would, do these last over a long rest? Would he be able to empower with what he's got left and then long rest? It's a really good question. Actually, I really appreciate that question. Uh, unfortunately, it's one minute per level. Now, yeah. Jake, Jake can enhance that, but he can't bring that up to, to much higher. No, no. Actually, funny enough, okay. um, there is a meta magic um, feat that Jake could, in theory, get that would allow him to extend durations to like twenty four hours and stuff like that. But I think, unfortunately, it's a plus two level, not a plus one. So yeah, maybe not. Okay. 
So unfortunately, no. Sorry, I was just thinking that one out. No was the answer to your question, sir. He he would not be able to do that. Cool. Cool. All right. Uh, next. Uh, um, so as you guys are, are, is there anything else you guys want to say, or are we just uh, continuing our walk? I'll trot through the woods. Let's cross. Oh, I don't have anything on. You could imagine Vigo as as they're walking along. He's just now engrossed in like Reading trying it. to like work things out. He said. Cool. So um, you guys are, are making your way downtown, walking fast faces past um, uh, 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 Doc's Bound. Do -do 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 -do. Um, so when you guys get across the uh, the way over to the Doc's area, um, you will see that he actually leads you over to where a cart is, um, as he previously has said. The cart has like, um, uh, a large like you know, um, a blanket or what have you kind of draped over it, covering what's inside. But one of the things you notice as you approach and all of you notice this, especially the keen sense of smell for um, uh, for the alchemist, is it reeks of fish. This cart reeks of fish. He's leading us over to, to this cart. Yeah, that reeks of fish. Oh. Pleasant smelling around here. Uh, <clears throat> gets the job done. Hides and... uh, smell from the vampires. Huh? Oh, hides smell from that. the vampires? Oh, um, he shakes his head and says, no, it's fish oil. It's quite flammable. Oh. Oh, uh, you weren't uh, you weren't actually far off when, when you. Uh, okay, good. Okay, at least that means my other theory is not not true, which is good. Um. So uh, uh, he will say, <clears throat> "You think that um, a prize horse would be willing to pull this thing?" We want Carrick to pull a apparently highly flammable cart. Yes. Why? As I said, we need to return to where we met. That basement is filled full of critters that I don't think any of us wish to um, engage with. He glanced at Vigo. Uh, Vigo looks at you and kind of just gives a small, like, almost like a shrug, but a nod. Like, it's up to you. It's your horse. Uh, how heavy is the cart? I, I mean, uh, you can imagine it pulls, what's the max weight a cart can pull? Something like uh, 1,500 pounds or whatever it is. Like, I, I forget how much an actual keg weighs. Um, but these are like barrels. And oil uh, beyond that, which is heavier than it, uh, like water, you know, it's quite viscous. So, uh, your drag weight is the thing that uh, would be that, right? Because it's technically dr dragging the cart. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's on wheels, isn't it? So it's it's on drag. wheels, but it's also like the 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 two little yeah. wooden pieces are wide enough that like you'd want two people to like uh, uh, lift and pull it. But also, a horse can easily just be attached to it. I, know, I was just seeing if begin with my hitching. astral armor I could get high enough to, to pull it if, if but um in Norway a, a keg is is a half barrel so if it's 10 gallons to a keg then there would be 20 gallons to a barrel um and then you have to find out how much uh 20 gallons of oil weighs and then put a couple of uh barrels on a few barrels like let's say four barrels on there right and then um kind of go with that right so. I got to like one thousand one hundred and seventy something, but I couldn't get uh, to one five hundred. You want to know what Carrick's drag or push is? A lot higher than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ten yeah. ten thousand five hundred, which makes sense, right? Uh, and then obviously wheels adjust that number, anyways. Like it's like you're dragging ten thousand pounds. You can drag more than that when it's on wheels, right? Um. Uh, but anyways, yeah, you get the idea. So uh, you start hitching up the thing. Uh, and while here, um, you guys will notice... Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, while you're here, yeah, it, unfortunately, is a, I'll apply a negative 10. You guys can roll perception checks as you're walking through the docks area. 
Negative 10, roll your perception check, just because the fog is... um. Yeah, adjusting... Makes my, it harder for you to see things. With all my different buffs, will I just adjust post? Because it messes with it a lot. Like right now, I already see that it's wrong, so I gotta uncheck and it check it. <laughs> I know that Brittany's leaving to bring Rory to uh, my mom's. Wanna know how I know? My phone notified yeah. me that my car was unlocked right now. <laughs> so, oh, I didn't tell you, boys. Um, I got a new car yesterday. It it, it took uh, over three months to, to to get it. It was a uh, actually I was searching for a place that would even sell a car that I can get my hands on for like two months, and then once I actually uh, ordered this one, it took three months to come in. Unfortunately, I had to Wait. go red, but I got a new car yesterday. Oh, nice. Really nice. Uh, I, I saw the 11 and saw my 16 and was like, that's not right. <laughs> so that's even worse. That's a six. That's the lowest I've rolled in a perception yet. Wait, oil is lighter than water? That feels wrong. Like if I pick up a gallon of, of canola oil, oil some, and a, or, or I say. Some oils, think about how they, they float and sit on the surface. Yeah. No, I, I, oh, that's true. Yeah, no, that's that's, that's fair. Any that's fat, fair. any oil, just sits on the surface. Yeah, yeah, that is one hundred percent. Yeah, okay, that that for it feels counterintuitive, but that makes perfect it's, sense, right? It's like, thicker, yeah, you're right. But lighter. <laughs> yeah, no, you're you're not wrong. You are very very correct. Okay, yeah, All right. Scott was this all. <laughs> <laughs> Today he is old. <laughs> it's been eighty. Oh, um, so so. Anyways, uh, back to your rules there, sir. Uh, your perception check that was that with the minus ten. Minus. <laughs> so it's minus. Six. Yeah, minus. Oh, oh yours is the minus ten. Gotcha. Are you happy with your eleven, uh, uh, Vigo? Or would you like to modify that number? Um. I only want to modify to see how much luck we have, to be honest. Okay, then do it. But if we don't have any, then I may take. No, we we have. No, I'm not going to do from it. last time. No, we had plenty of left over last time. I think it's okay to check. I don't think so, Tesh. But I uh, guess I'll check. Boom! Oh. Yeah. We oh have God! A lot. I went. <laughs> Uh, all right. <laughs> Be okay. sure. You have plenty. <laughs> uh, with your uh, with your thirteen, you notice something missing. Something big missing. There's a boat missing. A boat that you kind of grew accustomed to being in the harbor because of the number of stories around it and the people that died trying to engage with it. Oh shit! The the undead boat. Yeah, is uh, missing. Vigo will say, uh, "Did you have something to do with that leaving?" Huh boat ones that uh came in full of dead things um he's not sure what you're talking about so if you like gesture towards he'll actually walk through the fog a bit you know like a good 15 feet or so to look over yeah. in that direction squints his eyes takes another two steps forward and goes oh it seems as though it left we know that right this one to recruit though yeah if he had recruited Hope. them is there a a place that he would have sent them, though? There is. A place it where they can hide their boat. Where is that? <sighs> Close by? Uh, the, there was a... The name of the building, I always... We, I, I don't remember what it was, but the... Yeah. The, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had, there was a smuggling area underneath designed for... Taking it looks as though it is taking Tristan a moment to get his horse tethered up. If you would look to see if you can find information on this matter, feel free. He's not giving you an order. He's more or less just saying, you got time. If you care to figure out where this thing went, go right ahead and I'm make gonna, a diplomacy yeah, check. I'll look to um, Vigo because I, I know where it is. I can get there still and check and then get out. Trust your think? abilities, Gallon. Right. 
So Hugh's going to go that way. He obviously has ridiculous stealth. Are you going to ask around uh, uh, Vigo? Or do you not want to leave Tristan alone with this uh, pally dude? Um. By the way, calling yeah, sure. a guy I'll, who... I'll, I'll, I'll ask a couple people that are walking around. Calling a guy who uh, just killed two people that were trying to surrender a paladin? I'm sure is irking some people in chat. Yeah, you're not wrong. He, it, it was. Uh, I realized that after the fact, but I'm like, you know what? I'm going to leave it. Because <laughs> in Pathfinder, you don't have to be good. You just have to be lawful. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's just like it is. Because you can be a paladin for an evil god. And you ain't going to be lawful good if you're serving. Actually, that's not entirely true. I can think of a couple of uh, evil gods that people think they are good for worshiping. You know, gods that are very vengeful, wipe out whole societies all at once, you know, flood entire planets and kill almost everybody except for one family that then has to get into a whole bunch of inbreeding just to repopulate the whole planet. You know, vengeful gods. I can think of a couple Wait. of evil gods that, uh... America? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, that's that's neither here nor... We don't want to, like, point fingers at any in particular gods. So, either way. Um... Uh, moving on. So... <clears throat> It is funny though when God's like incest. That's the, that's the way for me. <laughs> um, so uh, you guys are um, are uh, uh, so Vigo. What are you doing while he's sneaking off? Uh, Tess, you go ahead and roll me a uh, a stealth check real quick. Uh, I'm gonna ask a couple of people. Ask okay, you roll where, me a diplomacy check. So. Do you care about hiding your who you are or whatever it is or no? Because you're a woman right now, anyways. Yeah, no, I'm a, I'm not me, so no. Then full full no no penalties. I even have a different voice. Yep. No, I understand. Yeah. And I'll let Tesh roll, and then I'll give you guys both your results. Oh, that was a bad roll. I'm gonna luck that just in case. Oh, and you Tesh, I but yeah. Tesh, you know you're actually going maybe um. Uh, Tesh, you know that you're going maybe a mile, a little, maybe a little over a mile away. You can actually leave Vigo behind. Sorry, not Vigo, uh, Vigil, Vir, Virgil, behind with them so you can That's communicate a good point. with you want. Yeah. I'll do that, yeah. Yeah, because cause that way, like, even when you just barely leave the cave, you can contact them pretty quickly, okay? Yeah. So that being said, with your sexy stealth check there, sir, um, absolutely nobody is going to notice you. Not a single person. Because there's nobody there. <laughs> Flying around and being incredibly stealthy like you are. I mean, that that's like a very high stealth check. Like you did the entire time you snuck through that place. Uh, flying around and searching. You don't see anybody, at least not with it. I haven't made you roll a perception check. But even just trying to like fly directly into the cave, you see that there's nobody in there. You go through the doors. You check around a bit and whatnot. You don't see anybody inside there. And I imagine you don't go too deep into the cave, right? You're trying. No. Yeah, yeah. You, you want to be able to I'd get go back. far enough to like... For example, I go to the the the, the next place that I, I killed one of the skeletons because if something had happened where the water had been lowered, the body might have moved around. But if the water, if it's where it is, it probably is still where it is. Because mm. if it's shut, then the water doesn't move in there. True. Um, cool. So with your 28 diplomacy, a much lower diplomacy would have told you, uh, Jake, that that ship that a lot of people are keeping an eye on uh, had left uh, last night. Um, um, we'll say early in the evening last night, um, uh, had left, uh, heading east from here. Uh, but with your 28 uh -huh. diplomacy check, you eventually find out that apparently, um, uh, there was something, uh, they, they were going to the old Black Knights, uh, place. That's what the rumor was. Oh, so that's who he was going to send after us. Okay. Um, funny enough, Neil had failed a perception check <laughs> at one point in time to see the ship passing you. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that too. Right. <laughs> so he, so they are working together. <clears throat> yeah, that's not good. Yeah. So, um, so I'll tell you what, he rolled that before I had a specific reaction happening. I was like, oh, okay. Um, yeah, I, did. I noted you, go, you going, oh, okay. And then just moved on. And I'm like, what the fuck did we miss? <laughs> 
So, um, so you guys uh, uh, get the horse all hitched up. You get your details. I imagine you inform them the details with Virgil. Uh, you eventually fly back to rejoin them. Uh, no, no other engagement or anything like that. That's here. Oh, oh, oh! Another important thing you notice with your twenty-eight diplomacy check, even though it's not a question that you're asking, you rolled so high. Uh, I'll just give it to you. Um, there's no more Perrin presence here. They uh. finally recoiled back to the point where. They're not even watching after the docks anymore. And if you remember correctly, they were still two hours ago when you were yeah. here last. They finally pulled out. Man, I really hate this, uh, this COW. Yeah, yeah, she's really bad. Like, actually really bad. And should actually be stripped of her position. 100%. Right, okay. So, um... Uh, it, there will be a note of that with what's his name to Tristan. He actually looks about and says, fortunately, there are no guards here to get in our way. He's almost like making, you can imagine side chatter to someone. You can imagine there's almost that moment where he forgets that he's speaking to Who somebody. Of the to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tristan would like, Look at him for a moment and then just ignore him and go back to what he's doing. <laughs> okay. Um, and uh, so you guys are able to kind of re recollect. You're able to get the horse all uh, put together. And uh, maybe like a minute or so afterwards, you'll have uh, Vigo rejoining with information, probably informing you guys of uh, at least about the boat. Um, and then um, Tesh will arrive maybe two or three minutes after that. Um, but he is already aware because you would, you know, He's already told you yep. that they weren't there oh, or whatever. We absorb uh, Virgil. Yep. Well, it's unfortunate that he's finally swayed them to his side. Unfortunate that we weren't able to just destroy them on the ship that they stood. Hopefully, they won't get back in time to aid in the fight. Well, fortunate we are for that, then that they are uh, forced to travel at the speed of a ship. And if they left early in the evening, they would have arrived there. But they would be many hours. And then he thinks for a moment, between now and our fight. Hmm. I don't think we have the means of um, prepping, preparing for the uh, the docks to be uh, to engage with them. If there were a time to fight them, it would be off land. They seem to be rather skilled with their blades. We could ask for help. From who? We are limited in number and resource. The merchants. The they want... Merchants. They want them... Uh, they want Dreyfus gone as much as we do. They have ships. They could sink this ship. The merchants wouldn't don't... do anything to those on board, but it'd definitely slow them down. The merchants don't tend to take side in this or that without a considerable amount of coin to be profited along the way. They are um, apolitical. You say that, though, if Dreyfus wins here, the merchants lose. I don't think that we have the sway to convince the merchants one way or the other. If you say so. You're welcome to give it a try, but I thought you were going to be more focused on crafting your alchemy. Yes, well, this will pull, pull valuable screen time away from our, our mission, so <laughs> let's forget that idea. Screen. <laughs> he he nods understandingly. This is a prayer to the to the to the Lord of the Fourth Wall, and then says, um, <laughs> "Looks directly into the camera." <laughs> um, and uh, then he, he he you know as you're starting to walk forward, he comes up with the idea. What about the Dell? What was the name of the other faction? Um. Do you think it is possible, despite the fact that they've retreated to their hovel, that the Dell would be willing to um, move their 
group of people, if all they did was to engage with a single ship to bring it down before it uh, docks. Who? Do we know who the Dell is? The Dell is a the the Dell is a um, derogatory term for uh, people that are part of the Paradell Nation. So, you, but not you personally. Ah. Yeah, it's all right. He's kind of uh, referring to himself because you know he lives in Paradell. So no, 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 no. He's not. He's not. He's not Dell. Like he's Dalish. So. Oh yeah, Dalish living in Paradell. That's right. I mean, some would say, um, you know. Uh, I suppose technically living in because he is on the land, yes, but he's also like an active terrorist. <laughs> yeah. And openly it's about still, it. It does still stand, though. I, I suppose, yes. I suppose to some degree he's an expat. Um, <laughs> we we could try and get a message to uh, Holt, Warden Holt. Yeah, that'd uh, be the only way. We couldn't go talk to what's her name because she's useless and hates us. <laughs> Yeah, it would it would be whether if he still has sway over the the troops because she there is no way she would ever authorize anything like that because she's obviously gone full bunker mode. Yeah. Um. Steve. Um. Yeah. You, she? You. You. Isn't, you... It, isn't it possible that this was ordered by the uh, field commander? It sure would make it easier for Dreyfus if. Uh, uh, presence was removed in the docks, no? Unfortunately, the they... field... He says, unfortunately for your plan, the field commander was killed. That's right, by those you're aiding. Correct. <clears throat> Sounds like you're... Oh, no, 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 no. He, 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 he doesn't respond to that. Uh, no, no, actually, he would say aiding. Yeah. You're working with them, right? Are you not also working with them and with us? No, we're not working with them because breaking the fourth wall again, we couldn't organize a uh, crossover. So we're not. Um, but uh, we are working with you. He says we are all working together against a common foe. They unfortunately have their own agenda as well. They killed the field commander, who was an unfortunate person under the control of a vampire, and not really working towards the same goal. And if uh, you repeat that again, neither will we. He, he he looks at you with condescension, like he can you can see like snide condescension in his face as as you get all prickly about it. And he doesn't repeat it, but he does I'm say. Sorry. Uh, I, I'm going to straight up interrupt. You interrupt him? Sure. Yeah. Uh, to Vigo, I can try and get a message to hold. I can fly down, land on the roof, see if I can make a connection with Holt. Yeah, I think that's the best idea. If you can find, if you can establish a connection with Holt, explain what's going on, uh, let him know that we need this ship. Um, we need this ship waylaid. Tell him that... Uh, it all ends tonight. Or whenever whenever the time we're going is, I can't remember. It is tonight. Uh, tonight. Uh, yeah. Yeah. When that boy when that boy doesn't get a chance to say anything, Triss will give him a look of more <laughs> condescension. I'm gonna nod and fly away. <laughs> um I basically literally just gonna go whoop above the fog, land on the roof, and then just sort of like use Virgil's uh tele uh communication thing to try and find him. Uh, after you fly off and a couple moments of silence happen at the other ones. He will then turn to Triss to not uh, let the point drop and say, we've all lost people that are important to us in this fight. Let us take solace in knowing that working together will give credence to the, sorry, will give value to the sacrifices made by those individuals. Sacrifices. Sacrifices are made willingly. Indeed. This person was controlled by a vampire. Indeed. Rylor was trying to stop what happened in the streets here. Chaos. Death. 
citizens, your citizens, so you proclaim dying. You said field commander. Field commander would have not been him. It would have been her. So maybe. So, fit, so I'm talking about two separate commanders. Okay, so now field, you're going back to Rylor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, the field he, commander he, was killed while about... under vampire. He yep. was killed while trying to protect the citizenry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so he was referring to her, not to Rylor, to be clear. Yeah, and so, he so, was so, so he, if you had anything else to say, sorry, Neil, I just wanted to make sure that we were on the same page. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I don't think so. I think the gist is there. That okay. These yeah. people aren't willing sacrifices. No, no, he, he, he nods and says, I wasn't referring to Rylor, but unfortunately, war is war. You don't respond, he won't say anything either. So just look away disgusted. Yeah. Yep. Uh makes sense. Um it's like your your hands are literally still soaked in the blood of people on the you know, for, that you murdered like like an hour ago. No, like 50, like twenty five minutes ago, whatever it's been, and, and no, my hands aren't. I was using a lens. Oh, my apologies. As it drips down, you're like, ew, and you like wipe it away. I hold oh, my lens down, down, dude. Come on. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, all right. Um, so you, uh, uh, you, sir, fly over there. Are you invisible? Are you camouflage? What do you do? Uh, I'm, uh, so I'm gonna fly above the fog. Or, like, in the top layer of the fog. Remember, the building there. stretches above the fog, but go ahead. Oh, it does. That's Remember, right. Yeah, yeah, because the glass. But if yeah, you do fly above the fog, you know what you see? Oh, I'll camo and I will do it, yeah. That what that window that was oh, broken that through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it actually has, like, blankets, like, like draped over it. So occasionally <laughs> the wind will blow. And like, but, but it's actually so that room is accessible because there's literally just blankets draped there. Interesting. Hmm. Can I make a perception check into that room? First, I need a stealth check. Yeah, okay. St yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Let me uh, make sure I have all that stuff on. Yep. <laughs> I always lose track of my stealth because it's not ticked. It's not a class skill. Even though it's one of my highest skills. <laughs> that's funny. If you can make that a class skill somehow, that's an extra three. But yeah. Continuing. Mm, Go ahead. That'd be nice. Uh, and perception. Can Virgil help me with this? Uh, if you have him with you, yes. Yeah, you reabsorb yeah, him. Yes. With me. It, I it, didn't know if you were sending him elsewhere, but you wouldn't have done that yet. No, no, I, I want him for this. Uh, and so. Every time oh, you do nice, this too, you roll, you roll higher for Virgil than you do on yourself. I know. And I'm doing it what? again. Oh, no, it's exactly the same. So 20. Because he yeah. ate for three, yeah. But had you rolled that for yourself, it would have I'm been... I'm rolling yeah. so terribly on my perceptions. Yeah. Uh, either way, that's fine. So you are able to easily... I mean, think about the stealth check being that high. You can get nice up and close. You can basically poke your head in. off the windowsill. <laughs> yep. You can actually see the COW is in the office. Is she saying anything? Is take she her out. Someone? Tash, take her out. Do it. <laughs> no. Pull her out the window. Throw it. Throw oh. it through the window. It's like full predator style. Um, yeah. uh, you get the three dots and then the three crystals. <laughs> it was funny actually. My my father in law was uh, he's like, oh, did you like the predator movies? He's like, yeah, I saw the first two, but I never watched like Aliens vs Predator. And he's like, oh, the newest one. He's like, he's like, it was actually pretty fun. I actually enjoyed it very much. It took place like way back in the day, like like back when it was like you know like you know. Uh, when it was like you know tribes and before they were like proper cities or whatever and then he told me the entire plot like we're talking like <laughs> like more or less scene by scene told me the whole plot oh like while, while i was helping i will him say move. it's still worth watching because it's a fun movie it's predictable but it's fun yeah and, and he's, he's like he, and then he's like yeah you should see it and i'm just sitting there like i just did <laughs> yeah that's like when they have the trailers that tell the entire plot in the trailer and like why have you done this <laughs> so i don't watch trailers so you so luckily like when Brittany and I just went and saw movies, if a trailer comes on for a movie that she knows I'm gonna want to see, she goes, "Cover your eyes, don't watch," because <laughs> she'll know she's like, you "Don't watch this one. That movie you'll never see. Go ahead, watch the trailer, but that one, cover your eyes." <laughs> um, anyways, so uh, is she uh, is she talking to anyone? Can I hear that? No, she is uh, uh scribbling on a parchment. Oh yeah, mm. scribbling on a parchment. Read it. Decisions, Read decision. 
You have to get what? closer than that. He's currently still outside the oh, trees. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I, 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 it's one of those things where I don't think I'm going to uh, do anything because uh, as much as I want to, uh, Galen wouldn't. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to then sort of move off to the side so I'm not right next to the window in case she does, for some whatever reason, want to look out. Um, and then I'm going to uh, try and ma- use Virgil's uh, connect uh, telepathic communication to try and talk to uh, uh, ba- 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 Holt. Holt, gotcha. So um, uh, you are reaching out to and Holt. His is, he, Virgil's one is two-way. It's not missive. It's 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 straight up uh, telepathic communication. But is not only with you. No, no it's not. Obviously, it's how you do the whole Virg- party. Duh. So, All right. So yeah. so Virgil is going to go uh, uh, spider mode uh, and start we, crawling through the building. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So you know uh, what it is. Uh, uh, Virgil's um, Virgil's one with me is images and um, and like feeling. He it's like a, a t- connection sort of mind sort of thing. Whereas with everyone else, it's uh, straight up, it's a conversation. Yep. Te- yeah, the, uh, where is it? Uh, telepathic speech. Yep. Any creature that is within 30 feet of the Psychrostal. So he's going to stealth. Well, uh, first of all, I'll just go around the side of the building to see if I connect connect with him. If I can't, then I'll send him in. Because if, if he's within 30 feet of the edge of the building, then I don't have to send him in. Yeah, but if he's um, not, that's fair enough. In. So you can like move him around. You can move around the building, move him around the building, whatever. And eventually, you're able to get the connection with uh, with Holt. Now, now, um, if I remember correctly, the way it's going to work with uh, Virgil is he speaks to Virgil. Virgil says it to you. You say it to Virgil. Virgil says uh, it back. No, that's so uh, Virgil and I have the telepathic link. So it's straight up Virgil talking to him with uh, Virgil okay, knows cool. what I intend. Understand. To talk. So what yeah. do you say to Holt to get his attention? And did you ever do this with Holt before? Uh, I think I've talked in his mind once. Okay, once. I thought I, I, th- I thought so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because you guys um, actually had a connection. That was so. missive, so yeah. that's not quite the so same. So this this it's, won't it's be as startling similar. for him as it was the first yeah. time, which I believe I had him roleplay uh, startled the first time. But yeah. continue. Yeah, yeah. Holt, uh, this is Galen. Uh, I'm talking to you because I don't know how much uh, I can trust the COW, but I know I can trust you. The He actually will uh, uh, respond, almost interrupting, and say, you can't. I can't. She's acting. Oh, yeah. Strangely. I've heard about the troops being withdrawn. She's always been conservative, defensive. We know this. This has been discussed beforehand because of how things had played out. But things are happening differently now than even before. I, I hate to suggest this. And it's something I never would have suggested if I didn't see how things went with my very own eyes. But I think she's had a visitor. Shit. Okay. Well, I'll finish this conversation first, then I'll go investigate myself. I was able to get right next to her in the window. Uh, I'm there. This com- Okay. She doesn't trust me. As very well she shouldn't. And so she keeps her eyes on me. I am set to be the guard in her room. I am standing there now. Do you think we should incapacitate her? While I believe this to be true, I unfortunately can't act upon a feeling. Even in extreme times like this, she is the ranking officer and I have my orders. And orders are far more powerful than just a feeling. Um, I have an idea. I know someone that understands this sort of control a little better than I do. I might try and see if there's a way we can test or even break the control. If you can, if you can, well, if you're in her room, she'll be in here, right? That that's one way I can test to see if she's there. I actually have an answer to this. I'm not sure what your plan is, but um, Vigo knows magic, and there's a magical way to to do this. But uh, only if you have have it available. What was your idea, sir? Because I think you're one... Uh, You're you're like... What is he, a warden? 
So I think you're like two ranks on him or one rank on him. So he says, sir, yeah. He doesn't uh, my, have to say, you know what I mean? Uh, just so you know, Scott, because this is uh, to, whether uh, my idea is to go talk to Risen and see if Risen has a way of breaking the hold or telling if she's under control 100%. So what's your what's your um, what's your method? Sorry. Uh, if Risen has a uh, find out if Risen has a one hundred percent way of telling if she's under control. Oh, oh, you wanted to ask Risen? Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, he says um, <clears throat> there's a spell that I know exists because um, the field commander, uh, may her soul be resting in peace. Um, she uh, has talked of this before. Um, uh. It's a, a, a simple spell to a mage, and the Arcane Congress has provided it for us in the past. It's a protection spell. Um, its name eludes me, but it's supposed to protect you from, from uh, 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 creatures that are um, foul, um, uh, evil in their oh. hearts. Um, something like Imagine this is saying evil in their hearts, but not knowing it's protection from evil, dude. Come on, like you literally just reminded yourself. No, I know what it's called. It's a character. No. He doesn't yeah, know magic. Uh, yeah, I'm, I don't care. Come on, Warden. Oh, oh gotcha. He, yeah, well, he just doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't know how simple names. Personally, I think a lot of the names of spells in D and D are kind of boring. But you know, <laughs> like fireball should be called something way better than fireball, right? But anyway, so so he getting continues. more inventive with the names as we go on, like caustic brew stuff yeah. like that's a lot more interesting. <laughs> like like wish. Okay, with wish I get it. Like that one makes sense. Keep that one. So, but the rest of come on. Anyways, continuing. Um. Uh. uh so he says, um, uh, for evil in your hearts. He's like, I, I actually know this spell, wouldn't I? Because I know protection of chaos I've had before as well. So, if you know protection from chaos, then with him saying that, have you protection have you known protection evil. from chaos? Or has it hasn't been casted yes. on you before. No, no, I've straight up had a potion of protection from chaos. Oh, so, so you had a potion. Okay. You can go ahead and roll me a spellcraft check before I continue to see if you even know what this is. At uh, the point that I'm Oof. getting to. Oof. Uh, okay. Let's, uh, let's that roll that plus two. Oh, that's, that's good. Actually, that works. So, sir, uh, you are actually able to, uh, you know, because it's been described to you beforehand by Vigo. So this isn't a matter of, of because you don't have points of the yeah. skill, so you shouldn't be able to roll it normally, but it's been described to you by Vigo before. Yeah. Uh, this so I spell, would just say, I think I know this spell, basically. So you uh, think, think you know the spell, but moreover, you know what he's getting to. Do you know what I'm getting yeah. to out of game or no? Uh, uh, I don't know what of the. I got you. If she's under you. control, the, the, the second the second her, effect right? of uh, of protection oh, no, from evil because there's three effects of protection from evil. One is plus two plus two. Uh, the second one is it makes it so you cannot have your mind dominated or anything like that C can't exist. And if it already is in existence, you get a new saving throw it. to 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 temporarily put it at bay. So so if they take the potion or whatever it's cast on them, they get to make a new save. And if they succeed, they get to they get to stop being dominated until the spell, uh, uh, until the protection spell ends. And then they become dominated again. So it gives a moment of reprieve where you actually have the person back. I could straight up. So uh, my, um, uh, my CMB, I can get up higher by switching to a different armor. I could, I could technically, uh, like, in the Pin window, her and force feed her, that, and then switch and force feed it. Yeah, yeah. You could, in theory, and have him help as well. He'd be willing to help because he's not actually harming her. It's at not least a when you bring it to thing, him. Yeah, yeah. Um, I him. would, I would straight up say, uh, I, I know this spell. Uh, that's a fantastic idea. I'll see if I can procure it. Then we can feed it to her, and then that way we'd know either way, and if and it won't harm her e either way. He, he nods and says. Um, so he does not say in your mind he says is the volume so low that i can spike a uh, a drink with it or is it something that will have to be given more directly that is unfortunately something i do not know i will i will ask vigo he he understands that a lot better than i do he he, he nods and says um whatever the plan may be i will always relieve myself to the restroom if need be <laughs> okay uh if I, if we do have to feed it to her, I could use your help in restraining her. That is, if you're willing. I am willing to do anything, so long as I don't bring her harm. 
I can agree. I can 100% agree to that. I'll, I'll be back as soon as I can. And I'm going to zoom off. How, was it fun driving the car? Yeah, was that fun? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I saw I saw you unlock it. I got the notification that you unlocked it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I could turn off the notifications. But I was like, oh, I know she's driving Brittany. I, she's driving Rory now because because I got the notification the car was unlocked. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah. I know. It's weird. Oh, God, when you put it in sport mode and you press the accelerator, it's so crazy. You're like, ah! <laughs> oh, that's because we have it on eco mode. And so the regenerative braking on eco mode has that that uh, volume to it. Yeah. Um, but that just makes it so it's I'm being more efficient. I'm going to doing this. Yeah. And then also it rains, too. So. That's hilarious. That's so cute that you would think that. Oh. oh, that's funny. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so so the while we're waiting for Tesh to come back, the, the short version is um the car is a privacy mode, which is hilarious. So more or less because you can like Bluetooth your, your phone to it. Uh privacy mode makes it so like any important details that are on your phone, like names, phone numbers, stuff like that, won't show up on the screen while privacy mode is on. So it's meant to like, you know, if you're bringing your, um, uh, your, your girlfriend out for to dinner, you don't want her to see your wife calling you like those kind of details. Right. <laughs> um, but anyway, so, so while Brittany was driving, she goes, mommy, did you put on privacy mode? And Brittany's like, why? She goes, mommy, that's the best mode. She's like, why? And she goes, because if you're getting changed in the car or something like that, privacy mode gives you a warning. If like a Mimi or like Grammy is coming to the car or something. <laughs> 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 that's a good one yeah because because mm -hmm. she goes like straight from her summer camp to like activities like dance and, and gymnastics and stuff so she often has to get changed in the car so it's just funny that that's how she anyways yeah. um but um so tesh you had to go to jake i imagine yeah definitely you rejoin with them as they're moving back towards where they're going to bring the barrels and yeah, uh, I would be conversing with them in my heads. Uh, the COW may, in fact, be under the control of Dreyfus. Um, Holt says that she's acting weird, even even for her, and he has been confined to be her guard because he's not trusted. But he had an idea for how we can fix this. Do you have the ability to make protection from uh, from evil? And as soon as he says spell, that, as I soon think. as he, he says that, if you have the con if you have the the concoction, you would instantly know what it means. So yeah, oh, you, you described it to him before. You would instantly know what that means. You would get yeah. the idea. But continue. Um, I don't think that's on the alchemist spell uh, formula list, but he would say uh, it's a wizard spell. I'm almost positive it is. Is that almost possible? You know why Scott, uh, why Jake can't see that spell? Because it's protection <laughs> from evil. It's actually not. Yeah, I didn't think it was. Oh, fun. Okay. I wonder. I don't. Uh, in game, he says, uh, "I have a potion of protection from chaos. They work." Kind of the same, slightly different. I don't know whether it would. Uh... I don't know if it would achieve the right results. It would. It, it would. Okay, so it would. Assuming it she makes her, her, it works exactly the same. Assuming yeah. she makes her her saving throw. Oh shit! Uh, wait, okay, if well, you're I, saying I, that. I have one. Do I still have my potion? It's very possible in the moment you forgot you even had one. I did. Well, I, if I'd known it does the same thing, I straight up have a, a protection from chaos on my quick belt. 
No, 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 that's fine. That's fine. The, you may have just not put two and two together about that. Yeah. Or, or maybe you forgot that it was there because you were in the moment. Yeah. But either way, having Vigos as well means that you have two attempts. Yeah. Uh, do you know how much of this would need to be consumed for, to take effect? W All like, would it. it be able to be put in a drink? No. Oh, okay. This will need to be ingested Understood. directly. Understood. Well, then... With your permission, I uh, might attempt with Holt's help to force her to drink it. If she's not under control, this will go terribly. If it is, it'll free her. That's not 100% true there, Jake. Don't you have a volumizer? Uh, no. I, I could have sworn at some point in time you got a volumizer. Or am I confusing this with Wait, one what, the other? What is it again? It's like a tablet you drop inside the potion and it makes it b like billow out like a, like a smoke. And everybody no, in the area takes the effects that. of that. It's a, it, that is a... Uh, that, I had that on um, Gr uh, Grishka. Grishka? Oh, Grishka yeah. had a volumizer. Wow, yeah, yeah, I'm confusing yeah. an old campaign, huh? Damn, that would have been no. awesome. <laughs> yeah, that would have been... Sorry, my apologies. Continue. Uh... Well, yeah, so if I feed her the protection from chaos, it'll do the same, right? In theory. Uh, so do you have one that I can take as well? So I have two, just in case, like, I don't know, she smashes one. I do. He'll hand it over to you. Thank you. I'm going to put that in the quick belt. Um, well, with your permission, I'm going to go attempt to forcefully make her drink this. Holt is going to help me. I see. Well. May help her be on our side again if she's freed from the control. Then we can tell her what we, uh, we uh, tell her about the boat coming in. If she's uh, well. controlled. If she's not, well, things will just get a lot worse. And we know exactly how terrible she is. Well, if not, you're assaulting a superior officer. You can always play dress up. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be flying in the, the window as a crystal and then ambushing her, so I don't think the dress up's going to work. Um, wait, wait, wait. Fact is, because it's an I, illusion, wouldn't you just, wouldn't it, she, you wouldn't be able to see the crystal, right? Uh, but when you touch the illusion, you can you can see through it, right? You had a so, saving yeah. throw, right? So, uh, I'm pretty sure you automatically see through it when you touch the illusion. It's a saving uh, throw when looking. I think it, when you touch it, you see through it. Yeah. Uh, at least that's how. At least I believe that's how it works in Five A. Either way, um, I assume it's probably going to know it's me. I'm not entirely sure that's an issue, though, because if she's not under control, uh, then she's horrible and we're going to be moving against her in some way, shape, or form anyway. It just says a creature that interacts with the glamour gets a will save to recognize it as an illusion. Oh. That's all it says. Okay, well, then then it is possible that they would um, uh, still fail and um, possible that she wouldn't know who you are. Uh, I mean, that's a pretty it's good a, chance. A, I have a decent thing for it, too. Yeah, okay. I mean, for a, uh, mm. Then I won't say anything. I'll just uh, I'll just do it. And if uh, she doesn't get it, I'll... It means Holt's in trouble. <laughs> but I think it's, it's up to you. It. It's, it's up to you whether you want to do it or not, or if you, if you want me to... Uh, I think it's worth the risk. Uh, this will, at the very least, get her to understand... If 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 we we're the ones that free her, she knows we're not part of this. Yeah, so you're just gonna go in as Gallon then? I'm gonna go in the window. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. ambush, grab her, and try and um, feed it to her with Holt's help. I was trying to give uh, Scotty's drag episode, but I guess we can't. Scotty's what episode? If you're this doesn't episode, work out, oh yeah, you're fine. Uh, All good. So, I'm, so, um, good. If this doesn't work out and word of it gets back to the River King, you could face jail time or worse. 
Well, that's a risk I'll have to take. The this as if she is in control and under control, the amount of damage she could do, the amount of control that gives Dreyfus. Dreyfus would be dead by the morning. I don't think that releases does that release him from control? Uh what? Uh Dreyfus dying. Um, uh, I so the dominant has this discussion with re, 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 with uh, Reson, but I can't remember. Te- technically speaking, no, and this is why. If Jake casts, do- I understand one's supernatural and one's a spell, but if Jake casts dominate person on a, on somebody and it lasts for say seven days, and then Jake dies two days later, um, there are still five more days left to the duration of that spell. His life or death does not uh, matter. So the only reason why that would mean that the person that has the domination can't give any new commands, but any previously given commands would continue to play out their life until the uh, the, the 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 spell comes to its closure, right? So so um, they would continue to be dominated. It doesn't immediately end, but they would just continue to do whatever their commands previously were. You know what I mean? So if you just locked her in a cell for three weeks, yeah, you'd be you'd, no way. You'd, you'd be fine. Yeah, no way. Uh, definitely, I hope she succeeds. But we've got two shots, so if she if she fails the first one, I'll feed her the second one, and then if uh, if she still doesn't change, well, then I'm fucked either way. <laughs> so is Holt. So we're both we're both going in on this. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, so fortunately, um, they actually, my apologies, I wrote in chat that she gets a plus two. That's actually not true. Uh, she has a plus two resistance bonus to all saves and a plus two morale bonus to the save of the, uh, dominate or whatever it is, right? So she actually has a plus four against that. So, um, so she actually has a pretty big swing. That's a, that's a, a pretty big change for her. She's not a low level character. She's not, well, I should say she, she's not a middle level character. She's a low level, but she's not like level one. So she has a bonus, right? Which is good news. Um, it's just a matter of being able to overcome his. Um... Can I luck her roll? <laughs> uh, I have always allowed you guys to use luck on mm. uh, uh, ally NPCs rolls. I have always allowed that. Cool. So. Uh, okay. I can get uh, a CM. Do you... Oh, hang on. Uh, before I fly off. I can get a uh, CMT of uh, 10, CMB rather, of 10, um, uh, do you have any way that, uh, any way to enhance my strength? The, uh, at the moment, I, I understand if you tapped out. Your CMB um, is I 10? Yeah. So just play this out for a second. Let's pretend like she's level 5. And let's pretend like she's decently strong and decently dexterous. Let's say a 14 strength, a 12 dexterity, and she's level 5, full bab class. That means she has 10 plus 5 plus 2 plus 1 is an 18 you have to beat. That's that's a, that's kind of going all in on that one there. Uh, barring feats or other uh, features, that means you're going against a, a, a DC 18. Uh, it's a fair how, number how to assume work against. What surprise, if I can surprise. Uh, anytime somebody's surprised, they lose a dexterity bonus to um uh to AC. Um, Does that work to uh, CMD? No, I don't think it works to CMD though. So I would say no. But a surprise round does mean you get to have. So it's, let's say it's a surprise round, you get to have that extra standard action before she even acts. Wherein, like, you get to actually try to grapple her before you even roll initiative. Which means that even if you failed, you could potentially just go again immediately afterwards, right? Um, yeah. But again, that's assuming it's an 18. If you want to assume she's not level 5, or maybe she's not the warrior class, but the um, aristocrat class, or something like that, then she has a lower bab. Maybe she's not quite that strong or quite that dexterous. So so an 18 is a pretty fair uh, medium to high number. Do, do I have to pin her no way? If, if yes, you I do have grapple... to pin her. Yes, you have to pin her. Yeah, so you got to grapple, then pin and then oh, and then okay. feed her the potion. Yeah. My yep. my idea was to grapple her, and then he grabs the potion off my quick belt. You would still have to you would to still her. have to pin, but he could prepare his action to feed it to her as soon as you pin her. So okay. now, how what level how are does you? Pinning work. What level are you? Uh, I am seven. It's just you, a, you it's have just iterative a, attacks, right? Same check. Yes, I do. 
So if you have iterative attacks, then you you circumvent your um you replace your attack roll with a CMB roll. So in a full round action, you get to grapple twice. So surprise round, first grapple, then the next round, you have two more grapple attempts. So like Jake just said, it's just a check. It's just do the same check again. Okay. I uh, have I have already prepared. I already had it. I have a bull strength. That is perfect. Uh, yeah. That would uh, that, that how much is bull strength? Plus four to your strength, so plus two to the roll. Uh, plus four to my strength. Oh, uh, okay. That uh, gets your cool. bonus to a plus twelve, right? Uh, I can actually do that easily by doing uh, my brawn times two buff because it's exactly the same. I'm not. I can't do that buff myself, so. <laughs> um, so that'll bring my CMB to it, it, uh, it won't it won't stack with brawn, right? Yeah, I'm okay. not. I, I I this is it allows me to keep an extra dex bonus, and uh, instead of switching to astral armor, and then also get an extra bonus because I could the max the max I could get of strength plus was plus two, from switching to my astral armor. This gets me a plus four, which is a plus two. Uh, uh, you, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I get it's plus four, uh, and then I get to also keep my dex bonus, yep. which you get to keep the dex uh, exactly because the brawn does not stack with it, but you put the dex bonus yep. and that would work well together. Yep, okay, cool. So, yes, grab the bull strength, and that gives you what you're saying is you think believe a plus 12 against what you're believing is an 18. No, That's a, a really good odds 11, not 12, but oh, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, I get it. that's how it's I get mathed it. out. I, I get it. Um, it should uh, actually 12 is what I thought it was going to be, but that's how it's mapped out on here. Let me quickly try and see. It's because you changed your armor to get rid of the brawn first. Yeah. That's why. Because your strength went down and then back up again, right? Well, brawn doesn't stack with it. So it yeah. should. Uh, so Bab 7 ability. Four. But, but, but oh, uh, I forgot CMB is only strength, not dex at all. Correct. Yeah, yeah, Dex is not a Okay, that's that. why that's why it's not twelve. Okay, but my my CMD is sixteen. Which does she have to beat my CMD to get out of it? Um, it, yes, she has to roll against you after. Uh, no, no, oh, I, that's or, fantastic. Or, uh, it's a CMD to get out. Yes, yes. I was it was a posed roll for a second. But okay, yes. that's a lot better than my CMD went up to twenty six. So with this, so this setup gives me a really good CMD. So if I get a hold of her, it's really hard for her to get out of it. But she's also probably going to call for guards, so I got to try and. Oh, this is this is going to go poorly. <laughs> Just throw her through the window. It's the easier option. The grapple would provoke an attack. You are one hundred percent correct, which is why he wants to go for the surprise round. And even if yes. he fails on the surprise round, if he wins the initiative, then she's still flat-footed for that first attack. So that's the important cool. part of the surprise. Yes. So that's that's hopefully if I win the initiative, that's four checks. To try yes. and get a hold of her, um, which the only other thing that Jake could do to give you a bonus, but I don't think he needs he, he can necessarily spend spells on this. Correct me if I'm wrong, Jake. Um, uh, is give you invisibility. If you made invisible, not only do you not have to worry about stealth checks, but beyond that, you automatically get a plus two to your attack roll as well to your CMB as well. That's a perk of being invisible. You get plus two. Um. I mean, what I've got is good. If if you can't spare the spells, that's nah, fine. I, I yeah. won't be able to. Okay, perfect. That's fine. That's we fine. have really good odds. Yeah. Let's go um, with this. Yeah. Yeah, really good odds. And then you also have luck um, dice to use for both you and her. Yes, sir. Right. So the uh, the thing is, the plan is try and use it on her if you know, and see if she does come to. Right. Correct. Yeah. Use both. So, so if the first if, one, if the first one doesn't work, I'll use the second one. Yeah, that, that's fine. But just say if it works and she is under his sway. What what's the plan then? Uh, well, she has how long did these last? Um, a minute per level. Um, yeah, and so this one minute. Jake, Jake didn't make it, so one, one you have one minute. Um, okay, then uh, then we will. Okay, then we'll have to. Would you want to have it aside happening. and pull Tristan into this conversation? Would you want to have this conversation with what's his name as the unnamed I, person as well? No, no, I'd probably want to have them aside to, to talk about this now. Sure. Uh, if, so tell them we need a minute. Yeah. Uh, uh, we, we need a minute to discuss. Like, if that's okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. So one, once we're, we're in a group, Vigo will say, uh, just say this works. This works and she is under the sway because it's a whole other problem if she isn't. But if she is, what then? We have one minute. The only feasible thing I can think of is somehow getting her very quickly to understand. Uh, do we, will she? Do I know that she'll know uh, she's it, been it, taken over by Dreyfus? Is she, do, will she know she, that? You will know immediately as soon as it's over. Yeah. So um, no. What I, wait? What I mean is, will I will she? Does she know she's that she? Has when been you're dominated, that? you fucking know you're dominated. Okay, so she knows. You, you right. have an out of body experience where your body is doing things that you don't want to. Now, to be fair, to be fair, you have control over your body and your personality and every aspect of who you are is there. You are you. But when you are commanded to do something, there's no check of wills or anything like that. You just immediately serve to the best of your ability uh, what it is you're told to do. Um, no way, characters, exactly, but I... Sorry. I was going to say, characters that are wise or cunning can follow the letter of the commands. Characters that are more... Uh, that are less wise, less cunning um, will... Uh, maybe take the spirit of what it is that they're being told to do as well. Meaning like doing significantly more or putting more effort into what they're being told to do. Right. Yeah. So, um, so, uh, as no, no, I said, uh, if I'm going to uh, tell her that she's got a minute, uh, she's being dominated, the control will come back and it will last for however long it's going to last. You need to stand down and lock yourself away now. Not enough time for that. She has to come with you then and there. Give the command to halt that the um. What, what was the what was the the the, the next one down? Uh, what's the name? We're I friends got, I got, with I, I'm pulling pulling it up right now. Um, so she is you know Battle Centurion, Centurion of War Winvery. Oh, so 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 this is um Battle Centurion uh, Yolanda. Yes, be, uh, yeah, Battle Centauri Yolanda. Give her the command to be in charge. Oh, 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 oh. go with you. And Battle Centauri Yolanda was literally the one. Who was securing the docks before? Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, That's give so give the, give, give to... Warden Holt yeah. the command that she's uh, to take over. Come with you. As soon as you more or less can lower her through the window, right? Uh, uh it's fairly high up. I can fly yeah, with her. Yeah, but you can fly. So I don't know what your weight yeah. is, but I don't think you would just go right. No, no. Uh, especially with the bull strength, I'll be yeah. able to hold her. Right. So lower thing. Have Tristan there with the horse. Restrain her, put her on the horse, and just get her out. We then we'll deal with her. Uh, not a bad idea. With respect, he reaches his hand up, and, and you see him fig the uh, fiddle around and pull out the uh, the azure blood pendant. Isn't this supposed to stop? It'll magic? break. Oh, that's fantastic! Oh my god. Oh, that's that would really... work, right, Scott? Yeah. I'm looking it up right now. It anti magic field and non psionics field. It yep. produces. Where again, uh, that way... For up to 18 rounds while active. You can dismiss that it any time, means... but it's only uh, uh, activated once per day. So if you were to use that, you wouldn't have it for later on. Mm -hmm. So you oh, could shit. use it. You yeah. could use it now um, uh, as like, you're, like you have two potions and this is your last ditch. Here's an idea. But that's what also in service if, to Paradell, so... Yeah. So that's like... If we're like, going to tie her up, you can use it if we encounter guards who say we're kidnapping her, activate it, and she can be like, no, I'm, <laughs> I've been dominated. <laughs> this, this needs to happen, sort of thing. But if he does use it now, it gets rid of the whole... Yeah, you, that way... Like, you you, you got to look at it this way, too. What if she's not? That's true. Do you know what I mean? And then you yeah. have actually fucking committed treason to an extent right or whatever what not treason what's it whatever it would be well the reason why holt is willing to participate in this is because it won't harm her if um no but if, you, if, if, if it is her you've still assaulted a, a, a <coughs> superior officer you don't know what i mean but at the end of the day it's what you've still done so that's why you're hoping for the disguise well, yep. If the disguise works, it, it works depends. Well. What, do, Neil, do you, do you think? Like, I mean, you've got you've got the eyeglass thing, so it will stop you from being possessed already. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that's a really, really 
I don't, I don't know what other abilities he has. No. I, I don't no, know. So like, ideally, we won't. He won't need to use it. Why? Why do we even care about the boat? It's gonna get back in hours of time. It's like, it's also a matter of relinquishing her is, from having control of the soldiers, which right now yeah. could potentially serve Dreyfus. So it's more than just the boat having reinforcements; it's the soldiers as reinforcements. I mean, they could actually, if we get her on side, the soldiers could also help us, right? Yeah, in this currently assault. straight uh, straight up. He can give her commands from from wherever the fuck he is. Tell about no, he, and he doesn't he have to physically be here. within Tell a certain range. range. No, he doesn't. Well, within a certain range, potentially. Um, I won't answer that question, but it is telepathic. So you know that from your like up has fifty control. check from several weeks ago. Go ahead, sir. I'm so sorry. Yeah, he straight up has control of the parallel military right now, if she's under control. I think that's worth the risk as much as it is terrible. If it, if it is true that Holt and I I trust Holt um, because or, or he was able to tell when um, <laughs> she was uh, when uh, his his he, uh, he knew the field commander very well. He'd literally spent years. True, but. Fuck. I, we, I mean, we could one, just go with the original plan if you want. I think it's one of those things that we just kind of ignore it and uh, deal with it either once Dreyfus is dead or it won't be our problem because we'll all be dead. Because I, I even if we even if we freed the this person and like what can we do? realistically i don't want to send them against the things that are coming back from the docks because they've already slaughtered a bunch of our soldiers that's true eh? well no the the idea is to sink the ship from a distance yeah, sink the ship on the ship we're talking about mobilizing a ship with the firepower to sink a ship right when yeah. the chain of command is already fucked like like mm. i i just think it's quite risky mm. Yeah, yeah, the chain of command is fine, but there's no one. No, at the no, top. not 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 that. There are defenses in a harbor city against boats that don't require you to mobilize a vessel, right? You can you can attack the vessel from afar. You know, whether it be like a uh, a ballista or a catapult or what have you. Um, they can. No they can, way. The they idea is to here. slow them down. Mm. We I know mean, that it won't. Like, well, well not only them. that. Look, think of it this way as well, right? Just say that all works. If we didn't do it and Dreyfus is attacked, he could potentially use the military against us, have her that's, order that's them to attack what I'm our group. As well. yeah. But it would take them too long to get there. If we're already engaged in actual combat with Dreyfus, it would take them too long. <clears throat> I mean, I have things I can suggest, but I, I don't want to. So. <laughs> uh, and um... I'd also, uh, what's his face was like, oh, the merchants don't take sides. Why wouldn't they pay, pay some cell swords to just to blitz a ship on its way in with the harbor defenses? Yeah, I, I said that before because I, I feel like, you know, it, like I said, if Dreyf, this is one of the situations where if Dreyfus wins this, everybody loses and they'll lose everything. So I thought that they would mm. actually, you know, probably side with us on this specific <sighs> thing. But uh, I don't really want to spend an hour talking to them. Yeah, you're, mm. you're, you're taking the opinion of somebody who's an extremist and who has opposing views to you. So, I mean, it's. You don't know whether or not it's accurate, but as Jake said, he didn't want to waste screen time on that. So, yeah. and Yale's saying, I don't give a fuck. Let's just get it done. Uh, all right. Go ahead. Keep going. I'm listening. Well, uh, I mean, I don't mind. It's Gallon's head on the, on the chopping block. <laughs> mm. like when it comes down to it, I'll just say, I have no idea who's going off to do that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just remembered, by the way, Jake, you had mentioned the drag yeah. episode. Um, mm. Like you having a drag episode. <laughs> One of the prospective names we were going to name the car because it's lipstick red was Chi Chi, as in John Leguizamo's <laughs> character from Two on Fu. Thanks for everything, Julie Newmar. That was actually one of the names that we we're going to go with. So, but anyways, okay. go ahead. Well, um, um, yeah, it's, it's like it's all going to come down to you, actually, Tesh. So, whatever you want to do, if you want to, if you think it's worth doing, do it. Gallon would be willing to do it. Um, G uh, and uh, Gallum would also think it's worthwhile doing 
the the military being under the control of uh, Dreyfus is something he's he really doesn't like the idea of. All right, well let's let's just get let's get it done. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna as. Tristan, a very or Neil put, um, I will also be um, disavowing any knowledge of your actions uh, <laughs> if you are caught. Understood. <laughs> this is the sort of I mean thing that, that like it is as yeah no ga- heartwarmingly so as possible. To you, to Gallons measure. fully understands. This is the sort of thing he he like wants to do in the military in terms of like this is something that is actively if it. it if Dreyfus has control over the military, he's willing to give his life to potentially stop that. Yeah. As you're starting to fly away, Vigo says, uh, if you do get caught, maybe you can blame it on Dreyfus in <laughs> seven days. <coughs> that's funny. Maybe. That's funny. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's going to be like the new boogeyman. Dreyfus made me do oh it. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Dreyfus made me do it. <laughs> That's that's like gonna be like what kids say in the streets, like the next generation, Mm-mm-mm-mm. right? That's so funny. All right, let's do it. We got an hour left. Let's let's do let's, yeah. let's, let's do this. All right. So you fly back once again. You need to make your stealth check to get back up to the area um, where you're. This gonna, is where, where after all to. that talk, all that planning, he just calls a water at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hope not. His his say, his checks are so high. Even if you rolled one, that just means I get to roll. It's like a 30. I know that nobody has a plus 10. Like nobody around here has a plus 10. So I'm not even going to roll. I just, I go, okay, you win. And then we move on. So you're able to get all the way back to where you were before him, which is literally floating right outside the broken window, right? Like you're talking floating to the point where if you were to step forward or uh, you would be standing on the ledge, reach forward, you would touch the blanket. That's where you are. Yeah. Uh, Go ahead and make your perception check. Hey. Oh, luckily you roll out for the perfect bird. Time. Perfect time. Uh, perfect. So you were able to see that she's done filling out whatever paperwork it uh, it is there, and um, she's uh, 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 standing uh, right now. And um, that's not, actually perfect. That makes it easy to grapple her. <laughs> it's not a mo- it's to not, the ground. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not a matter of her, of her of you see her right off the bat. She's because she's just not at a desk, but you hear like the pacing. And then you um, uh, hear like a conversationally. Um, she says, "Are you always just going to stare at me like that?" And to which um, you hear the response. Oh, sorry. No, go on, go. On. That, to which, yeah. To which you hear the response. Uh, he says, "Just making sure that no harm comes your way." As ordered. And she looks. She, uh, God, oh, you, if you want to interject, no. I'm going to have P- NPCs talk unless you want to interject. Yeah, I'm just going to say. Uh... Holt, I'm here. I'm ready to go when you are. If you can lock the door, do so. But I also understand if you can't, because she's aware of you right now. I hear the conversation. Then that's okay. Just tell me when, and I'll go. Okay, so that was a mouthful. So she was. He says, as ordered, and her response is, "Well, that was a little concerning of a response." And then there's like a a second delay as he's now hearing both you and her speak yeah. and he has to try to get his words out while so also listening to your words. Well, you believe he's like, you started, you started speaking and then he's speaking. So, so let, let me finish. He, he, I'm hearing the conversation so I can, uh, I'll stop my like talking to him when he needs to reply. Once he's got the reply out, I'll try and get a little bit more in before. So, uh, cause I don't want him to be discovered and I know how weird it is for someone just to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're you're fine, but I, I'm going to roll bluff check to cover his um his ass on this. Oh, okay. Okay. So so he um I I mean her sense motive is not like super great, but she does have a, uh, she can technically fail. Um. Um, it's about the same. Let me just hold on. No, it's actually this. Okay. Fuck. Oh, so close. Hell. So, so close. close. Um, but either way, so she she goes, uh, she says to you, um, to, not to you, to him, she goes, what's wrong? Why are you so distracted? 
he 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 does respond in your mind. That was good. <laughs> okay, then I'll go. <laughs> Make a stealth check. I'd have liked it if he turned and locked the door and then turned back with his cock. <laughs> 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 I think that would have been perfect, right? He'd have played off why he needed to lock the door and distracted her. Just like whips out the willy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? Why? When it comes to Neil. Always wants to willy out, right? Um, all right, anyways, so that's a beautiful stealth check. Um, I probably can't pass that one, but I will certainly try. Uh, give me half a tick here. Um, can I you know can what? I luck dice it? Yeah, because yeah, she's technically about... my ally. <laughs> yeah, no, go for it. I was literally about to press ah. it, so if you want to press it, <laughs> no, no, I, I, I want to luck dice her roll, Tesh. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck? Tesh's face. What the fuck? Uh, such a, such a great series of, of emotions. Tesh was just like, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> this is the most that she can do. So I, I had a five percent chance. So she could not she could not get it. Um, even with Daddy's dice, you know, it was a hard roll for me. All right, awesome. So she does not notice you slip in through the curtains, moving slowly, obviously. So it's like you put your foot on the thing, you're resting. You wait for a moment. Uh, you, he says, that would be good. And so you start acting. Um, uh, he says, sorry, I'm just uh, distracted. It's strange seeing you sitting here as opposed to... Um, and she, like, you, you know, you can hear him just kind of like cut off partway through and you open up the curtain to look and see that she's <laughs> facing towards him. She holds up a hand to make him stop. And she says, um, uh, um, uh, the field commander and I may have had our differences, but I still respected her and would not have wanted to see her fall. Like, um, uh, a, a moment as you're sneaking up, getting ready to grapple her, but you can feel like, you know, her personality is coming through. Like, and you and then Tess pops out and is like, sniff this. <laughs> um, funny enough, he also did Neil's plan. And so she's like, wait, which one? No, so um the uh so so I imagine you're moving forward with it. Yeah. At this point, I could just hope that she doesn't know who that she doesn't succeed on telling figuring out who it is. Uh if if it so is he's literally uh, about to appear behind her now, whack his crystal hand over her mouth and be like, shh. Okay. Do the assassin <laughs> take down. So you get to go ahead and she is caught off guard. So it's just your CMB versus her CMD. Um, she has no attacks of opportunity because she doesn't know that you're there. Uh, you get to make your your uh, check. Rolling, rolling at twenty. Dash, come on. So rolling at twenty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lock that. Okay. Hey, okay. We were saying 22. middle to high was an eighteen, and you got an eighteen, but out of luck, you uh, just to have a little luck in there. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a four. Um, so that's good news. You 22, you absolutely successfully grapple her. It's at this point in time, we have to go ahead and roll initiative. So, um, uh, cool. I don't get the second, uh, grapple to try and lower her more. No, no, no. Uh, a action surprise. only on a surprise round. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Got it. Got it. Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, so for simplicity, we will make her, the archer. Oh, let me open up an initiative. Oh, tracker. thank fuck. I thought that was going to be a four. Oh, I didn't click on my, my token, but I got a 20. Listen, listen. Uh, I don't want to start burning through luck. But there's a chance she could beat you. All right? I think I think you should luck this one so you're 100% first. Uh, you know, you, you know what? Fuck it. That's that's let's do it. He wants you to burn through luck. 23. Which which is fine. Lo and behold, lo and behold. Which is fine. We fight Dre first with no luck. Uh, she's going <laughs> to be the so. archer. <laughs> uh, she's going to be the archer uh and he's going to be the um the dude in this upcoming yep, thing, yep. okay? Cool. Uh, just so we know what I'm rolling for. There's no surprises. I rolled a five. Um, hopefully that gets the bad roll out of the way for the sake of um, her uh, her um, mm, will save see, later on. Not. Oh, yeah, no, let's hope oh, yes for that. So, someone's going to give her a winnies. <laughs> um, uh, and then here's Holtz. All right, hey, he her. Perfect. Cool. That's, That's really fantastic. Good news. That's really good news. Um, all right, awesome. So the good news is that uh, the odds are now in your your favor. So she is successfully grappled. I'm going to role play through describing all this in a moment, but first I want to see how it plays out, and then we'll get into the actual descriptive terms, right? So yep. because you want initiative, that means you immediately get to act again, 
which means immediately you can make another grapple check at your highest bab. Cool. Uh, a 23, I think you're comfortable with. You just got one before. Yep. And so you successfully pin her to the grounds. Now, to feed her the potion uh, requires another um, uh, uh, grapple check, but it also requires you to have uh, drawn the potion out. So the good news is, because you only did one I, attack, yeah, you would have... Can I pull the potion out? Yep. I'm actually going to pull the potion out and hold it out for, for, for him to... Uh, to rush up and to grab. grab. Perfect. Awesome. Yep. So so uh, he is going to rush up, grab the potion, and uh, administer it. Okay, so this is how it goes. Literally, she kind of holds up her thing. She says her line about that being a friend. Then she opens her mouth to say something else afterwards. <laughs> and as she opens her mouth to say something else afterwards, you come up from behind her. You grab that one hand. Like, you get, get like, a grab of that hand. And you twist it behind her and grab her uh, uh, from the front. And you just pull both of you backwards and onto the ground, wrapping your legs around her legs to make sure you have her like, in a proper uh, uh, hold. Um, and uh, uh, so you have her in a proper hold. And you just like arc your back so she like loses a lot of her strength or her having to use her core against yours. Um, uh, in a moment, as she's kind of like, uh, you feel like the right moment as she's wiggling out. You quickly take out the potion and hold it up as you see Holt running forward. Holt grabs the potion, uh, uh, the potion out of your hand. And she's like, "What is this? What is the? You know, what is this?" And you know, you you very quickly just try to grab at her wrist again to make sure that she can't stop him. Like I said, he grabs the potion, he rushes up, and he's going to be able to administer it to her. Um, so it's like as she's saying, "What is it?" He quickly, you know, pops the 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 lid off and just throws it down her uh, throat. Not every drop gets in, but uh, the vast majority of it, which if you remember correctly, he always overmakes his potions anyways to make sure there's more volume just in case, right? Because there are those moments. But he didn't <laughs> make this one. Oh no. She is now allowed a new saving throw against this spell. The DC for Dreyfus's ability is not low. It's not as low as Did it is for a winnies? spawn. Um, no. Um, Damn it. <laughs> uh, it is not low. Um, but she is actually an aristocrat, so she does actually have a slightly higher uh, thing. Good. Like she's okay. not as good of a like she's a better commander than she is a warrior, right? So she's the aristocrat class. Um, uh, she's not low level. Oh, sorry, technically she is a level, but so she has a uh, being fourth level. She has a plus four to will saves with her uh, wisdom modifier. She has a zero, but with the potion she has four more. So she has a plus eight to this roll. The problem is whether or not she can roll high enough. Unfortunately, we're relying on luck because we're trying to fight against a powerful spell. So, slash R, 1D, 20, plus 8. Do you want me to roll? We all know how good I roll. Okay, never you mind. Roll for Literally, it. as I say, you want me to roll, uh, Winifred's wisdom comes in and says, fuck Dreyfus. Fuck yes. Okay. <laughs> so, she has, oh, a plus you, she has a plus 13. Technically still relying on luck. But significantly less so. A little less, yeah. Yeah. Also, don't forget, if I roll an 81, there's a 5% chance that no matter what, it fails. Ooh. Here we go. Okay. That's oh, a 26. Fantastic. I assume you're not using a, uh, a a luck die on that. No, she's uh, good. That's a 26. Okay. Yeah, we'll save. That is, that, yeah. that, is, that is good. She fails. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So, so, so. I don't know why I believed you for that split the, second. The look, the look on split second. The look on Jake's, the look on Jake's face told me that he was going to fucking jet over to the US, <laughs> find you, and break your kneecaps <laughs> just for a moment. <laughs> uh, I oh. like. Sorry. Um. Uh. Anyway, so yeah, you uh, uh, yeah, it, it breaks the thing. So what, how do you, but you don't know that, right? So how do you react? So what do you do um, as soon as, you know, you have her pinned and all this stuff, he feeds her the potion. She's fighting against I, you. I, yeah, so uh, I, I would just get, um, uh, I, I, I wouldn't release her yet. I would, I would get, uh, Holt, I would say, Holt, talk to her. Try to see if it's broken. Ah. Uh. Um, so you, what do you say to save his broken? Uh, I, 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 okay. This was me in, uh, so sending the thing to his mind to say, talk to her. Cause I don't want to reveal my voice yet. Just in case things have gone. He told, he told Holt to do it. Yeah. I said, Holt, 
told to us if it's broken. Oh, oh, I, that, I so I knew that you had said you were going to talk. I, my apologies, I missed that part. I was talking to V Sword. So you, um, uh, uh, Holt says, um, Commander, Commander, are you with me? Oh, sorry, COW, 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 are you with me? And you like let go, like you make sure that her mouth is clear, and she goes, Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, I, I get it. I know what you're doing. Yes, yes, I, I'm gonna release her. Yes, I'm here. Uh, you, you release her. She immediately have fights a to, to, to get up and looks to see who it was that attacked her. I imagine she recognizes oh. you. You have a minute. She would recognize the voice at the very least. <laughs> uh, a minute? What, what do you mean? I, I haven't... My You're mind... You're his control for a minute. I quickly get a hill and command. You're going to be back under his control soon. Re remember what we said. We said for you to, for her, more or less yeah. for her to give the order to halt and then you, go with you because right, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Because you the easy, halt, one minute later we'll she's still me. there. I'll yeah. put you in a safe place until uh, you have control again. Um. Okay. Uh, all that is understood. Um. The issue isn't a matter of um, uh, uh of being convincing of trying to uh, convince her of the plan. It's a matter of like, sorry, sorry. It's a matter of uh, 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 making sure she understands exactly what you're saying. So you can go ahead and roll me a diplomacy check as you're trying to like convey the message. Oof, okay, diplomacy ain't good. So uh, this is gonna. But again, uh, but again, you be... can imagine in this scenario she is helpful, right? Yeah. Oh. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when you're dealing with somebody that's helpful, I believe, I believe the base DC is like five. So so you're good. Uh, anyways, so I'm gonna be gr grabbing like some rope to help to tie her up while she's giving the order because. It's going to be easier if she's tied up. <laughs> um, uh, she nods. She says, I need the paperwork that re relinquishes control. Holt actually uh, uh, pulls out the paperwork. He had it on his person. Oh, she looks at that confused for a second. He said, you used the restroom, and I knew this was happening. She, probably a little concerned, but nods understandingly, um, and immediately goes over to the desk, grabs the, the quill, dips it into the ink, and signs the paperwork and signs over for I'm gonna you. start tying up her legs while she's doing this. Yolanda, I, I should, she she looks down why. distracted and she's like, Do you We don't have time. And get, like, so, nods, so like understand the We again. don't have time, I'm sorry. As she uh, looks over and says, uh, as she's like finishing signing and dotting her name, she says, Halt the door. And the, he, you know, gives again a questioning look as everything's happening so quickly. He immediately goes over to the door, whips it open, and she says, like, in a loud, kind of booming voice, like projecting loud. And Holt, you understand that I am giving command to the Battle Centaurian Yolanda for this moment moving forward. For the next, she looks at you. She looks at you for a quick second, for a period uh, of time. So, oh, oh I, I, we know it's like a week, right? At least, at least, at least. yeah. Um, at least a week, uh, maybe more. For the next two weeks' time, she is command of Melissa Harbor. Unless uh, uh, unless uh, a situation comes to pass where a higher ranking officer takes command, like she says, this like projectors so, like booms down the hallway. Yeah. Um. Uh. Go ahead and roll me an intelligence check, Tesh. Uh. That that means her, right? You. Oh no! I know! I know! But like. Oh fuck! Beautiful. Uh. You know that you literally have what boils down to two rounds left. I'm gonna um, just fly, I'm fly, because she's attached to a rope. You're just gonna yank her out the window, and you're gonna fly off. Two with rounds. Her. Yeah. That's twelve seconds. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tie her mouth first, and then go, because that's as, as soon as it's like it's, I gotta go quick. Yeah, gag her mouth. Tie, yeah. If you go to tie her mouth, she takes the rope and does it for you. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll grab her and fly out the window. Okay. Um. And uh, uh, she goes. She goes like you go. She's like poof. <laughs> Mind you, while she's still her, and then it drags up the window. And, ah! I'm not, and then I'm after not she's dangling her. and flying, I'm not dangling. I'm not That's dangling what he said her. To do. He said, "Gank her out the window." I'm not gonna dangle her out the window. I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry her and fly off. I'm not that mean. Uh, so, so anyway, I'm going so to. So I'm going to Risen, by the way, because I think Risen's probably the only person who could contain her. Yep. <laughs> I just need you to do me one tiny little favor as you're flying off. Go ahead and roll yep. me one CMB.
Okay. Yep. You you're able to maintain control of her while you're flying over to where Risen is. I'm gonna get back oh. to the, what the other boys are doing in a second. So uh, to finish up where you are, you were able to fly above the the the, the mist uh, yeah. to to where Risen is. Uh, if only sunlight also got rid of the domination. Um, so <laughs> so so you're able to fly over to where Risen is to Risen's home and are able to uh, uh, land inside of it. Uh, Risen, you had already seen. Uh, he's all put together now. An, uh, an amount of time has passed. He's put together. You can imagine he did his morning meditations and, and got his spells ready. And he looks... um Slug. New person. Tied up. Yep. Um, uh, and so when you come like bar barging through the door uh, with her, he looks and goes, well, this is going to get me into a degree of trouble. This is going to get me into a degree of trouble. I broke her dom... She's been dominated. I broke it briefly. She gave the order to hand over command, and we're going to keep her secure until the dominate wears off. Oh. Interesting. Um. Okay. Yes. I, uh, I, 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 I understand what you're saying. Absolutely. We can, um... We can do that. I, I, I can watch her. Oh, if, if she's... If, if, if she's here, who's in commands now? You're longer. Uh, what's the rank? BC? Uh, uh, B, BF? Uh, uh, field, FC? BC, Battle Centurion. Uh, uh, bat, bat Sam, you're longer. Uh, yeah, Battle Centurion. Um, and so uh, he nods and says, oh, I cannot wait until things are put right again. I won't lie, the amount of chaos that has taken the city has become... Uh, insurmountable. It's frustrating, isn't it? I just want the field commander back. Indeed. I'm gonna um send a message to him uh, telepathically. Uh, remember, uh, she'll remember everything she sees. So be careful what you say. But let's uh, put her somewhere secure. Um, uh, he goes to to bring her to somewhere secure. He actually says, "I know the perfect location." I'll take her from here. If you wait a moment, I'll come back and see you. Uh, do, uh, do I need to wait for him to come? Is there any, uh, metal wise with the other two, is there any help, anything else we need to talk to Risen about right now? Um, uh, I don't think so. I could ask if he wants to join in the assault. It's a, 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 up to you if you think there's anything else that you need to talk about. Well, I assume oh, Risen is going to be in on it because he, yeah, he said exactly. that thing to us before yeah, anyway. So I'll switch to him in a moment. I'll just double check because that way we know he's going to be there. But I assume he knows about it. Uh, sure. So, so he he takes her and goes into the other room for like a minute or so, and then he comes back and he says, "Well, she's secure now." Uh, are you going to be part of the assault tonight? Uh, assault tonight. Oh, there's another one underway? We are reluctantly joining forces with the King's Guard to assault Breakfast tonight. We're using Neil as the door. Oh. Well, you know that Dreyfus won't attack me directly, so I can be there. But if I um, uh, act too aggressively against him and his group, then things can turn and he will um, likely go for me as well. I can be a part of this endeavor, but I do uh, wish to have some degree of protection um, to make sure that. Like not. Having you there will help in a multitude of ways from what I've seen you do. Oh, of course. Uh, he gestures towards her and says, um, like, protections against certain like, things like that happening to individuals' minds. Um, listen, it's just really important that exactly. certain things are kept quiet. That's all. I understand. When you're dealing with your enemies, you. You, you, you have to walk fine lines of, of knowledge, right? There are some things that you may know and, and you can't let slip to them and, and vice versa because we've all made little deals here and, and little deals there and, and uh, we're, until things are fully resolved. And he kind of stops and thinks for a moment. You... You don't know. Don't know what? Oh, in the name of all of the heavens. Uh, you don't know. Oh, um, um, you know that the field commander, uh, was in the building that burns to the ground and collapsed. 
Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, everyone died. And you are aware that 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 was directly requested of by Rowlin that she be handled, removed from the equation. We didn't know that at all. Yeah, that's why I'm taking long to answer. Huh. But what you didn't know was that they didn't go through with it. What? Uh, Rena and her crew, they believe that she is an ally and they let her live. I'm keeping her hidden. She's actually <sighs> literally where I just sent um, the, the Centurion of War to. So, so the Centurion of War will be with, um, not not alone, but will be with the field commander. Is she free of the domination? The Centurion of War? No, she's she's held. Oh, the commander. Uh, yeah, the commander. Unfortunately, breaking something like that is very, very, very difficult to do. Um, but without a new order and her believed to be dead. Okay, that's good. I'm glad. Thank you. Um, once she is free of uh, control, luckily the way that the uh, uh, Centurion of War ordered things, she'll be able to take control again. Immediately. Yes, well, uh, the idea was to make sure the, 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 the plan from uh, Rena and Ophios and um, Elijah was that um, when um, everything was said and done, and they had done everything they needed to in the city, they were going to leave. But they left her alive for a handful of reasons, some beneficial to them, I imagine, that's how deals work, but also to make sure that the region wasn't too destabilized. We can See? go over the details later. Uh, for now, let's get ready for the, the fight. Uh, uh, he nods. Um, he, and, uh, uh, he says... But of the details, you're going to find them interesting. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> find, find out the details, Tess. What, what details exactly? What's, uh, what's already been discussed, right? They don't want... Well, most of them. Uh, well, Ophio specifically doesn't want to bring harm to Paradell. He only wants to hunt those creatures. The ones that the one that you had in my, my, my icebox. He only wants to harm them. And the Rena and um, uh, uh, what's his name? Elijah. I always forget his name. Uh, Rena and Elijah, um, they, while they are at odds at Paradell, there is a b belief or an understanding that the reason why things have played out the way they have over the generations is because of these creatures. And so they have no problem with harm coming to the Dell. Um, sorry, to Paradell. Um, but the... Um, uh, with hopes that all they have to do is uh, remove the head of the snake, if you will. And if that doesn't work, then uh, I'll go back at the body again. Out of everyone that he could have said that to, that I'm the one person who's like the most in that mindset as well. So I'm just like, this is really conflicting for Galen. <laughs> Oh, well, you're right. I did definitely want to know that. Thank you. Uh, it's a lot to think about, but... Oh, don't get wrong. Right now, They're still terrible. I mean, you've yes. heard about the, the <laughs> awful things that they've done. But at the same time, I believe that, you know, a path to redemption is something that should be set before everyone. Don't you agree? Let's get ready for the fight. <laughs> He frowns. <laughs> <laughs> and they killed my butler. <laughs> um, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, obviously, we. It wouldn't be. I'd just say where we're going and then fly off. This we don't need to RP that part, do we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. But I did want to bring one more thing to you uh, prior to jumping oh, okay. over to them because they're going to be doing their thing while you were doing this whole thing. You're not joining them for their yeah, bit, yeah. right? Um, so, anyways, uh, he would also add in that. Fuck, what was I about to say? And then a little bit just made me forget. Hold on. Um, uh, Path to Redemption. Oh, he does say, um, if this is actually meant to be the final fight, we're going to need literally every asset we can get our hands on. Um, since you've replaced who's in charge of the Dell, 
<laughs> Sorry. <sighs> Too much time spent morallin, my apologies, with the, the, the military. Um, is it possible the military will be able to provide aid? Uh, I mean, uh, metal-wise, I, I mean, that's a possibility, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, what, what, what we, what we right planned now. was for them, more or less, more or less, we got to tell tell Yolanda the right. man the defense is in the harbor and sink the boat. And then once that's done, direct all resources to strengthening this assault. Yep. Yep. Yeah, okay. Uh, I, I'll... That, that is the plan. We're going, I'm going to head back there after this and inform Yolanda about the overwhelmed dead that was likely to be back in the city. That they can hopefully man the defenses to solve that and then assist him with the fight. It's unfortunate that he was able to have t enough time to get to them, but. I guess all of us were distracted with various other activities. I was hoping to speak to them myself. Turns out, he sent them to uh, after us. They oh. were sent to the, where we set up the trap. Well, they seem to be capable with the blades, so perhaps it's a good thing that things played out as they did, um, aside from all the blood. Funnily um, enough, uh, it actually seems that our trap did work in some way, shape, or form, which is good. Um, yes, yeah, so we... Hopefully, we'll have some aid. The, um, well, we will need to literally use every assets that we have. Unfortunately, mine have run dry. I have been utilizing them to the best of my ability up until this point. Sans one. It's a matter of whether or not I care to script the battle in this endeavor. And um, I, I will speak to Vigo on this matter as it seems as though um, uh, my fate is going to be falling firmly into the hands of uh, of those that are in command. Prison. Thank you for not leaving that night. We couldn't have done this without. I... Of course, I'm here to lend aid. Dreyfus and I had an understanding, but um, he is best had removed. He causes more harm than good. Um, and I believe that would only have exaggerated as things continue to play out. Uh, either way, uh, let's tap every asset. Let's use every ability. Let's uh, uh, contact every source. We need all the help that we can get in this matter. Uh, who knows? Maybe Rita will help us. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's she's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I, there is actually like... A a chuckle with that because it was just like oh god oh wait you're kidding <laughs> yeah. all right let's get to it um and then cutting back to the other two um so uh with you guys it's relatively quick what you need to do you go rolling back up to literally where you just came from where you started the session and the last session um to that area that's inside there um how do you want to approach that building again do you just go charging in like you did last time What are we doing here again? Oh, he. he uh, um, I, I imagine you ask what's his name of the plan on the way over. Yeah. This yeah. Guy he wants says, to burn the entire place to the ground. He says, "Um, these barrels are full of fish oil. There's stairs leading down to where all those creatures rest, and however many other reserves he has, a bit of fish oil, a few tinder twigs, and a torch." We resolve the problem pretty readily. It's distasteful, but it must be done. He nods. He says, there's two more parts to this plan. As we're rolling the barrels down, just before we actually light the flame, and probably be a minute or two before it starts, uh, we need to be as loud as possible, rewarding the people that live in the neighborhood, that there will be a great fire, and it's their responsibility to put it out. It's a harbor city, and everybody knows their part. They will do what they can to make sure that the fire doesn't spread and doesn't bring greater harm to um, those that live in the neighborhood. And beyond that, then there's the tunnels. Like rats, I can imagine this newly discovered way in, and so therefore way out. Um, you will have uh, his people trying to escape. In the tunnels, we must bring the fight must eliminate as many of them as possible. Now, the door has already been barricaded. As we were working together, I am 
another one of my um, colleagues, shall we say, is uh, working to make sure that door is not so easily um, egressed. You want to lock people inside a burning cabin? They've chose their lot. And there is a scourge in this land, and it must be removed. You chose your lot, too. Indeed. And the gods will judge me when I rest before them. But for now, we will cleanse this, wor this world of this beast. And then we can go back to squabbling on who owns this patch. The people down there, they don't all need to burn. The creatures, you can't reason with them. They're dangerous. They could kill people. But people doesn't seem right to burn them down there, alive for being petty criminals, or worse, admittedly, some of them. They've had their opportunities to flee. Everybody has seen in the past two weeks how things have uh, transgressed in the Liesel Harbor. They have not had opportunities to flee. Fleeing right now means death. Death on the streets, death in the wilds. There's no law, there's no order here. You've seen the blood, the bodies. What choice do some people have? I have seen the blood on your hands and the bodies you've left in your wake. It's funny hearing you give a lofty speech when your hands are equally stained. We all strive to do what we can. Well... Some of us, at least. And Tris will straighten up and look down at him. Um, um, so, so with that, you know, actually stopping, because you guys are like almost there, right? Um, uh, he'll stop and he'll say, this is the plan. We are removing this element and every danger that exists inside of it, as well as whatever else he might have hidden down in there. Treasures hideaways, caskets, and what have you. All of it is removed. No longer a pawn on the board. I'll warn the people. You can try to warn them. But, as I said, the tunnels are guarded. I mean the citizenry. They need warning, yes? <clears throat> oh, he, he, oh, oh, my apologies. You're referring to the fire thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't okay. believe oh, okay. a member of the Paradell military. Um, uh, he, he nods and says, um, <clears throat> if you help me get the barrels into place, you need not kick them down the well nor light the fire. You can do that task and let your conscience be at rest. I am envious of that. It led to be guy. If Vigo tells him to do it, he'll do it. Thanks for putting this on me, Neil. Vigo's um, more extreme than Tristan usually. Yeah, anyways. Tristan doesn't. So, Tristan yeah. doesn't want to burn all these people alive. Like that's horrible. Like monsters down there that are just straight up monsters. Neil, Neil, most of them are gonna die of asphyxiation, anyways. Bro, bro, bro. Yeah, I mean, I did consider that, but still, I'm not regicide, you know. Yeah. I can't just. I can't just. Toss a torch in a barn and wedge the door, you know? Listen yep. to the screams. Ah, those peasants are having a shorter life and they're <laughs> better for it. I mean, to be fair, though, Regicide also use the fire to pop their popcorn to then watch the rest of the show. I mean, you know. <laughs> Small differences, dude. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you do look to Vigo, you'll see he, like, uh, gives you, like, a saddened look, but at the same time, he just gives you a slight nod. Tristle spit and then nod again. Um, cool. So you're obviously going to put the barrels in place, but not actually do it. And you're going to go around and warn the people. Okay. But as for re-entering this place, is your plan just to make sure it's clear on the inside to do like you did last time to literally barge through the door? Like, like, like you did last time? I don't know. What did we do last? We didn't even go in, dude. Oh, you mean just to barge through the front door? My apologies. Yes. Sure, yeah. Okay. Uh, can you go ahead and roll me an Intimidate check? But because of a myriad of factors, I'm going to give you a plus five to this. 
Scott, um, in, in a minute, uh, when I ask you to cough, can can you cough for me? Uh, I actually have to pee, so if I cough, I might tinkle a little. <laughs> okay, hey, well, the desk we'll behind you is gone. We'll do the catheterization now. No, it's not. Oh, the desk on that side. Yeah. 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 I got a bookshelf there now. Yeah, you you kicked out. You kicked her out. Yeah. You're like, this is my room, woman. Get out. She's she's finished her course now. No, you know what it is. It's that you have way too much gas, and it was very uncomfortable for her to sit behind you. That's what it was. That that also. Yeah. Very I, I, very very eggy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, quite sulfuric. But the gloves, the gloves aren't actually just for probing Scott. Um, I've got a display case that I want to put up here, but they've got like plastic covers on it. Uh, they need peeling off, but I don't then want to get uh, my hand oil all over it. I got you. You're good. All right. So anyways, so I imagine you barge through the front door, same as last time. So you're going to go ahead and roll me intimidate check with a plus five. Since you're sitting down there, would you like me to click the button for you? Yes, please. Man. Yes, I got you. Um, give me one second, sir. I just got to open up Tristan's character sheet. It's me again. <laughs> yeah, more or less. Uh, give me half a tick here. <laughs> so go over to main. Uh, intimidate. So I roll 20 just moves very slowly for me for months now, which is very frustrating. I message them about it and they're like, eat a dick. This is with your plus five included. Neil, you have a 17 because you rolled absolute trash. Um, do you want to, you rolled a two, uh, do you want to luck your, your, your flopping 17? You rolled a stupid trash. Uh, yes, I think we should luck it guys. Cause One we of you don't guys really want to spend a long time here. No, Scott, oh, you have to uh, drop a, you have to drop a daddy size for I'm afraid. Yeah, uh, I, I, <laughs> do, you roll, uh, do you want me to hit it or do you want to, do you want to hit it yourself? Uh, no, I'm no, I mean. Um, I, I I realized you can't see me looking at Jake. Oh, no, you, you go ahead, Tess. Oh, yeah. Oh, you should have rolled it. <laughs> so uh, when the uh, doors burst open, there are a handful of people inside. And so you come bursting in and people start, uh, like like go to react. And as soon as like the first shot is let loose, so I'll, I'll make a single shot against you, Neil, just to uh, uh, get that out of the way and they're going to have something else happen. Um... Miss. Uh, so after the first shot is done against you, um, uh, you see a very, very injured and familiar looking person standing there holding their side and looking at you and goes, Oh, hold up. Um, no, hold up. Hold up. We give. No, I think that's the horse. We fucking give mate. And like throws that, the weapon that, to the ground. A Aiden? It's Aiden. It's the one that was knocked out outside last time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, they, they they throw down their weapon. Uh, uh, listen, I'm good. I'm good. Can I just ask a favor? Don't make me go down there. They weren't so kind to the last one. Oh. On your way. He nods. He oh, looks at the yeah. others and says, let's go. And there's like a moment. And then they see like the other two come in. And that's when they're like, Okay, yeah, we're out. <laughs> it's not just one person. Uh, uh, it, uh, yeah, we're out. Okay, bye. Um, uh, and they 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 leave the place because again, the, the upstairs area. It seems like they've more or less come to the understanding that keep pouring a ton of resources into the upstairs. Well, actually, I'll bring this in game. Uh, the paladin says, "Seems like they've realized they can't hold this ground." Oh, well, the paladin. Mm. I've, said, I've said that a bunch of times. Seems like they've realized they can't hold this ground. Um, and so he watches them as they walk by with like a, you know, again, looking down his nose at them. But you've just openly given them pardon and he can't go back on the pardon that you gave him when you're on the same team. Right. So that would be um, there'd be no honor in that. Um, so he, he lets you guys leave. Um, and then he says, Tristan, if you could assist me with this and then uh, we'll go over to the cart and start pulling down the barrels uh, with you to hoist them over and bring them to the stairwell. Yeah, Tris would put Roji to the surface. Um, uh, so as you're going around and starting to raise alarm, he can turn over to Vigo and say, um, <clears throat> have you any tinder twigs or torches? 
I do not. Hmm. Looking at my sheet. And I I'll... assume he uh, was prepared, right? Oh, yeah, he, he has what's needed, but it was also just a matter of making it quicker. He says yeah, alchemist like, fire. Oh, do you have alchemist fire? Yeah, uh, that was the next question, yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no. He raises an eyebrow. An alchemist without fire. I've been here for a while. I've been fighting the whole time. I can't have an unlimited supply of alchemist fire. He 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 nods like completely conceding to your point. Yep, that makes that makes perfect sense. Um, he says, you know, had I known your resources were so low, and he kicks the first barrel, and it's like bang, 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 smash, bang. Um, perhaps things could have gone differently. He kicks the barrel, uh, the second barrel, bang, 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 smash, bang. Um, <clears throat> uh, help me push this one in play. I like to go over and like wheel it over. Yep. Kicks that one as well. Bang, 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 smash. You can imagine people downstairs are freaking the fuck out as they hear all this banging and smashing and whatnot. And it's cracking into the door. Again, it's held by a wooden beam set across, but you're definitely putting like, like cracks into the door down below because these are, I mean, you're breaking on the way down, but they're also somewhat yeah. rolling. Like he's Donkey Konging in this shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, all right. Um, uh, and then after like the, the fourth barrel or whatever is, uh, is kicked down and, and, um, uh, added in. Um, he, uh, he'll then go and, um, uh, grab out a couple of torches. Um, oh, sorry. He has one torch with him. My apologies. He'll grab out a torch, uh, and I'll go over and, um, uh, and of course he has like a, like a, what is it? Like a starter. So he grabs out his one, uh, his one torch. He'll go over and grab a bit, a bit of wood and parchments or, or whatever inside the area and start like kind of igniting it. The whole while Tristan's outside, you know, bring out your dad. <laughs> No, just kidding. Um, uh, kind of like giving them a warning or whatever, uh, making sure that he's he's convincing them. No, no checks need be needed, Neil. Like this is appropriate. Um, and he lights it up and throws the fire down there, and very quickly the oil is going to catch, and the oil catches more oil, and the barrels down there. Not long after that, you can imagine the door will catch fire. As soon as people realize what's going on on the inside, and it starts to fill with smoke. You can imagine they're going to react. Uh, once it's kind of like a minute passes of watching the fire and making sure like it's properly underway um, and Neil's outside still yelling, he'll look back at you and um, and say, the tunnels. Lead on. Um, and he'll turn and start walking out and uh, look over to Tristan. By the way, I'm useless at combat. I don't know why you're wanting me in the tunnel. <laughs> you, you say that? Yeah. He'll stop. He'll look at Tristan, who I imagine gives a look back of like, like, I imagine satisfaction, being like very unhappy, knowing what's happening and knowing his part in it. Um, mm -hmm. He'll look at Tristan. He'll kind of like give like a, like, like judging the situation, like a good two or three seconds. Then look back at you and say, fair point. He wishes not to be involved in this and you should probably be preparing for tonight. I'll go to the tunnels. The root that um, uh, he says the name of a uh, of an uh, of a uh, of a what's the word I'm looking for here a tavern in town that you've actually been to before. He says the name of a tavern in town, uh, and he says um, <clears throat> that is where you'll find Rowlin, and that is where you'll find respite. Is it the tavern where we kidnapped Rizin? <laughs> Yes. So it was outside of that, yep. that yeah. tavern. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's because I, I fucking knew that was the tavern that that uh that they had control over. That, that, I just that, fucking knew. That's also the tavern where where Jake was making making really high sense motive checks and whatnot and making sure he knew that Risen was the one. And so yes. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. so you've been there before. I knew that was the tavern. Oh, God dang it. Yeah. So it's funny uh, when you so when, when that he says tavern... that, yeah, yeah. Big goes like uh yeah, the place shit food, man. <clears throat> Ah, um, oh, Tris won't let him go on his own. Um, he uh, he says that place is shit food. Uh, he nods and says, "Better than rations." I'll meet you there later. Should I live long enough to? May the gods watch over you. Oh, and you. For fuck's sake! I'll watch over you. He shake he shakes his head and says, "Tunnels ain't no place for a horse."
That's very kind, but Carrick's Carrick's going to go with Vigo. Someone needs to look after him. He's not lying. Can't handle himself in a fight. I understand, <laughs> but you'll also need you'll also need your rest. To say you know, Vigo's looking at you appreciatively. Mm -hmm. He's he's happy to have uh, to have <laughs> Carrick watch his back. Uh, I do love that Carrick is now bodyguard level. Like, uh, uh, of, he, like he molds three normal people. Did. Yeah, that's oh no, <laughs> you're gonna get back. In... Oh, actually, no, I'm not. Oh, I'll save that. Don't worry. Carrot's just gonna be a human playing cards with you, just an anthropomorphic. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, if if he's sure, then like Tris will like give him a look and say, "Hmm, try not to die." Then best of efforts. Um, Rowlin will know you're coming. And you will not be um, uh, treated aggressively. You will not be harmed in any way. The food will be safe, clear, if without flavor. And there will be a, uh, a place for you to rest. Vigo will hand him a uh, cure moderate. <laughs> with an extract. He'll say, oh. tastes like shit, but he gets the job done. He nods appreciatively. <clears throat> You'll go over oh. many details with Rowlin. Just make sure you collect as much holy water as you can hold and enhance as much as you're capable of. Or, or, or whatever. And then he will... Uh, no handshakes, no bows, no nope. anything. You, got, you guys are working together. And then he turns and heads his way to the tunnels. And you guys are, are starting to walk back. And we're talking like a minute of walking away from this place with fire now starting to rise up. You see smoke in the horizon. It's a very quick indicator of where it is you need to go. He's rising above the, the fog. You go over, you drop down, you see them and are able to join them. And you can fill them in of the situation. Yep. And um, uh, so, do we need to RP that or I'll just, I mean, I literally info dump. There, there is an important <laughs> bit of RP there. Um, of yeah, information you just got, is. and then we'll end the session so I can get to work and go pee. Yeah. So go uh, I don't need to do that because we're talking in the minds. Uh, okay. Firstly, uh, not Yolanda. Yolanda's the one in charge. Uh, what was the CW? Winnivis. Close it. Winbury. Win, Winvery, Winnever. I, I, I just close it. I'm Winvery, yeah. Actually, that sounds right. Field commander. No, it's Marilla is the field commander. Yeah, he's not talking about the field commander. No, okay. no, but I will be in a second. <laughs> oh, oh, Yolanda is the one that is. So Winvery no. is the one that. Yes, my apologies. Winvery, Yolanda, yeah. Marilla. Yes, my apologies. my apologies. Was, uh, so Winvery was under control. Uh, we managed to get her freed, and she commanded that. Uh, Yolanda take over until a higher rank comes in and takes it back. Uh, Risen has her secured, but also, and he's like, this is where he'll, uh, can I do a quick check to make sure, oh wait, no, I'm talking to their minds, I don't have to check. Don't, don't say this out loud. Uh, and the, um, Kingsguard cannot know this, but, um, I just had the name and now I've forgotten it already. Marilla. 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 Uh, uh, bat, no, uh, Field Commander, was it? Field Commander Marilla? Mm -hmm. uh, Field Commander Marilla is alive. She's still under the domination, but Risen has her contained until it's worn off. Apparently, Rena and her crew decided to spare her. My plan is to go back to uh, Yolanda and inform her of the situation, uh, get her to uh, use the defenses against that ship as it comes in, and once that's done, to join the fight, if, if possible. This is a fight for everyone here. As much as a lot of soldiers will dislike it, it's worth having every, every force we can. It is. I'll meet you at, and he'll say the tavern. Okay. See you there. And we'll pick up with next week. You go into the tavern. Uh, there was a suggestion in chat by Nora. We just so you know. So if you want to write it down, so you don't forget it for next week, and then you can um, potentially explore that. Uh, that was to you, Tesh. Uh, and we're going to head out. I have to pee. I have to get to work. Thank you guys so much. Uh, just a heads up. 
We are going to be raiding Ollie. Ollie is playing Pokemon Unite. It looks like Ollie has become a VTuber. I feel like every time I've raided him recently, Can he's always like VTube thing? things. Um, yeah, 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 you feel it. When you're within a, a mile, you can kind of like feel it. So you can literally fly around and meet them at the tavern, feeling out for the the the, the ping or whatever in your mind. That's a good point. I could inform, I could, I, I could try and find them and inform them before I head back to them next session. Yeah. And uh, as I said before, Rory is um, getting into Pokemon now, which is very exciting for me. So after she's done watching the new season of Bluey, because it's always very What's quick anyways, playing? we're going to watch uh, Pokemon together. Uh, Pokemon Unite. So. Oh, awesome. I have not played that yet. All right. I have to go pee so bad. And then I have to go to work. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you tonight on Lost Initiative. Um, bye. 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 All right, Scott, do you want to go ahead and bend over for me? Oh, Got no. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me empty my bladder first, please. No, no, it's it's good. It's an important part of the test. <laughs>